I just didn't see? have the time see? to do so. Busy. But Worthy. here we are. Bro voice is the best. <laughs> Shout out, boy. <laughs> now, if you guys truly enjoy the idea of me going over everything Phil has done in the current month, then be sure to show your support for this series. Lord Bacon, the Destroyer, what's popping, pimp? Reese by leaving a like and subscribing for more content just like this. So with all that being said, let's start this new series off in the month of December, 2023. To kick things off, on December 2nd during a session on the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 3, Phil claimed that he was ready to move on and try something else. The reason for this as he claimed was due to the viewers begging him to start another playthrough for a different game and that the multiplayer for Call of Duty had officially ran its course. But for the more sensible people out there, we pretty much knew that one of the reasons Phil was done with the multiplayer. <laughs> and you would be, oh man, I shot him once. <laughs> Yo, you totally shot what off screen. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be one oh, of them. What the fuck? Look, look, look at this. I, I, can, I, bro, I, you, I, I shot you point blank and you still got me. No, you shot the fridge. He shot him once and shot the fridge. It was because it wasn't reckoning in the money that he was expecting it to on the night streams, which the detractor mm -hmm. community had deemed wage quitting. So DSP yeah. goes on to defend himself against the allegation by stating that he has never quit on the game due to low donations. And anyone who ever say he has is an idiot who shouldn't be listened to. Of if course. I'm putting out a stream that feels safe, More that feels fun, that's entertaining, safe. that puts yeah. a smile on your face for whatever reason, but if I'm having a good time and you're having a good time, that's a reciprocation. We feel that on the stream. Sometimes we have fun, chill interactions. We have great discussion, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> and while that's happening, people say, hey, I like this content. I want this content to continue to exist. I'm going to go ahead and go above and beyond. What, what does safe mean? Yeah, that's a good point. What do you think he means by safe? I don't Is the know. game going to kill it's him? A, it's like abuser, no, like it's abuser talk. It's just like you, you hear people aren't going to attack you outside. You're in a safe space here from trolls and whatever. You can hang out and chill. It's abuser talk. It's, it's cult talk. <laughs> <laughs> safe is such a weird weird way to put playing a game that's so weird to me be on and support it and that's when support comes in right people don't come and support my stream because i was playing call of duty and i had a rage fit at lag no one's going to say oh yeah here's some here's a, a tip because of that who would do that instead they want to have a chill time with me something that feels meaningful to them that's when you get that right <laughs> Always. so well, what's the, where's the meaning after, though that's that's my thing what what what's the meaning you know what I'm saying? Meaningful is like something of importance to you. What does that mean? So what what value does that bring to you and to the audience? Like I hate when he uses that word, like he uses that like that term, like meaningful. Like where's the meaning? Yeah, I, I don't know any of the meaningful, the uh any of his little mannerisms that he uses, his little his verbiage that he uses. It's weird. A game, you're playing a game. If it's good, it's good. Meaningful is so subjective. So you could say anything is meaningful. I could say punch clubbing seals is meaningful to me. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean it's true. I, I'll never understand why he uses that. I think I, it, it must just mean money. It must just mean if it brings money and it's meaningful. Yeah, that's what it, that, that it's. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like that's what makes this motherfucker so disingenuous because he like uses double speak. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, if you take it like, yo, it's meaningful to me, meaning I'm getting the money, and that means that this stream means that it's successful. Like. Like this it's, dude is his brain is fucking wired weird, bro. <laughs> very weird, very weird. I mean, I, I knew that was a fact when he said he runs a successful business. That's when I knew something was up. <laughs> Come on, bro. Ain't no business owner sitting outside their establishment screaming for money when it's slow. Absolutely not. They don't Fair have to because they got shit to sell. Right. Facts. Yesterday's stream. Here's the thing. I like Modern Warfare Three. I think I like it more than most people. Because a lot of people have completely <laughs> crapped on this game and said, man, this More game is a cash in, rip off this year. It's a piece of crap. You know what I'm saying? And, and just skip it. They're I mean, just a bunch of cash grabbing assholes. That's everything you said. <laughs> that's literally everything you said. They don't make a new game. It's the same game over and over again. Same these, game over and over. It's the but hype. these people. You know, Keep buying it. If you keep supporting the practices, nothing will change. Yeah, right. You, you, this is literally your words. Verbatim, bro. Verbatim. Crimson just jumped five of them things in. Appreciate it, pimp. No, nothing that's said in that statement is false. Literally Look nothing. Ears Modern Warfare 3 charge. plays like Modern Warfare 2 with a few tweaks and new weapons. It's the same net code. It's the same skill-based matchmaking. They didn't put any effort into it. Oh. It was a rushed-out game for money. 100%. It was pushed out to line the pockets of the people in charge 
and they didn't give two shits about the quality of the game. That is a true statement, okay? Then what are you? Oh my lord! Did you just? This it's like I'm living in a fever dream, bro. You just said a lot of people crapped on it, and I actually like it. And then you say the same thing. You literally just said the same thing. Oh, a lot of people are just treating on it. I love the game. Well, actually, they everything suck. they said was right. <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> what is happening? You and and, and Shinko just said it. He double talk, double speak, bro. <laughs> double speak. I feel like that's, that's the contradiction definitely. shit. That's, that's the other shit. That shit blows. That shit blows my mind. Like when he contradicts himself in the same oh, sentence. My God, it's the bro, worst. Bro. I, my brain breaks. Like I literally, yes. like my shit literally goes. <laughs> yeah, snaps. that's I'm how snaps. I feel. I, I can't. I'm like, well, like I don't know where it, I don't know where you going with this. Like you just <laughs> you you that has made me do like we on a train of thought and you just doing a 180. I can't go back. I'm on these <laughs> I'm on these tracks. It does break my brain. You. I'm with you. I, 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 it just blows my mind. Well, wait a minute. My favorite one, hands down, my favorite one of all time was when he was like, um, yeah, like, he goes, yo, like, there's the meme with gin. Like, I drink a lot of gin because they saw two handles of Tangeray in the video. I'm like, number one, yeah, that means you drink a lot of gin. And Thanks. then he goes, like, number two, like, it's not that big of a deal, but, yeah, you drink a lot of gin. <laughs> But then he goes like, yeah, they saw two handles of like Tangeray and that, you know, they automatically started running with the fact that like I drink gin, like I don't do that. Like, you know, if I was going <laughs> to drink gin, I drink like a high end gin, you know, like a Tangeray. I'm like, Whoa, what? no way. Wait, wait, that's what he said? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I made a video on it. it. That is I made a video on it. He was like, he was like, he was dead ass. He was like, yo, like. He was like, yo, like, I don't, like, you know, I don't, they sell two handles of Tangeray. That don't mean I drink gin. You know, and even if I do drink gin, I'm going to drink, like, a, a high-end gin, like a Tangeray. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Yo. Bro, yeah, like, like, what? Like, no. <laughs> no. No. I never saw that. That is funny, bro. These people are not. Sadly. There definitely is uh, a lack. Guys, thank you for the five player, man. This is meaningful. That's a fact. That's a fact. Of interest. People are bored of it now. And it's funny because it's not like I've done everything. Like yesterday, I was trying to get kills with the pistol. Uh, kills with the pistol. And I was. Okay. I was. <laughs> All right. Actually, the best. You good? You still see the screen? You good? You see it? Shane? Yes, yes, it. Oh, no, everything just went black. That's why I was like, uh, okay, I don't know what just happened. They're on my team multiple times, limiting myself to using the handgun. And I'm not good at this game. I don't think I am, but here I am dominating the leaderboard. Oh, you got it right here? Oh, yeah. nah, we got to take like it. In the, same, in the same sentence, he's just like, yo, like, I don't I don't drink Tangeray, but if I was going to drink gin, I'd drink like a Tangeray. Like, you know, <laughs> what? Hold on, hold like, on. my man, like, what are you, like, what are you talking about? Massive ideas. Oh, in man. Ah, so obsessive like, ideas become, like, memes. I clicked you stuff. off, bro. So one of the obsessive ideas was that just because you saw. <laughs> Where we that? Uh, <laughs> I got to restart it. I clicked Shink off, kicked him out the crib. All right. Obsessive <laughs> ideas in their heads. And then those obsessive ideas become, like, memes and stuff. So one of the obsessive ideas was that just because you saw okay. uh, Tangare in a bunch of videos, all of a sudden people just think that all, I, all day, every day, I would just be drinking gin. And it became this running joke that Phil drinks gin constantly and stuff. And it couldn't be further from the truth. Like, I actually, gin is all right. And if I'm going to drink gin, I'll drink like a Tangare. <laughs> Was that just because you saw uh Tangare? I'm telling you, in a bunch of videos, all of a sudden people just think that all, I, all day, every day, I would just be drinking gin. And, and if I'm gonna drink gin, I'll drink like a Tangare or a beef eater or a bomb. <laughs> Pause on that name, first of all. I ain't, I don't care if it's good or not. You ain't never no, hand me the beef eater. Pause. <laughs> Yo, you don't never. like drinking beef eater? <laughs> nah. <laughs> don't ever pour me nothing called the beef eater ever. You know ever in life. <laughs> let it, let it, yo. Let it, let it, let it get a, let it, let it, he needs a stiff drink. Give him two shots of beef eater. <laughs> nah, I'm good. No, nah, stiff drink is disgusting. Uh, higher engines that taste good, 
that's what I would drink. Long oh, bottle. Shit. Nice long bottle. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out, Mr. Leahy. Rest in peace. The guy, the guy, the goat. That was funny, bro. I ain't never seen that before. That is funny. And that is the prime oh, example. Hold on, I gotta get back on the that I can't is... see the screen. I'm blacked got... out. What? Oh, maybe because I switched it. I, I see it on mine. It says you're streaming it. It denied me because I'm black. Why does it say? All right, there we go. All right. Yeah, it denied you, bro. It said I was streaming it. You see it now? Yeah, I see it. Mm. It says, it says Aviga. It says, I got one more day. I got one more day before MLK Day. Fuck Shinko. Yeah, right, right. Aviga, I need you. I need you to clip this face, man. Help. <laughs> So you tell me how this game works that people suck so bad that I can win entire matches just using a handgun So I think there's more there's more to do but When I see literally an entire see was popping pimp I stream of people not talking about the game Completely turned off from it doing their own thing okay. not engaging not oh, even sorry, addressing Reaper. me or anything that's going on in the stream And then the support is non-existent That's a sign people want something else and to be frank for over two weeks, every day I get someone asking me, Hey, Phil, what's the next playthrough? What's the next game? I'm tired of this stuff. When's the next one? What's the new one? What's the next one? Right? So I think it's time. I think now it is time to move on. It is time for us to say, all right, we've seen what, you know, what, what this game had to offer. Game wasn't making enough money. You All that was showing up was a bunch of trolls getting at me. And, uh... No whales. Yeah, no whales. Absolutely none. Uh, yeah, it's time. I've played enough of it. It was good for when it lasted, but it's time to move on to other stuff. All right? So, as a result of yesterday's stream, yeah, right, yeah we're going to move on. We're going to do some new stuff this week, and I'm curious how it's going to go. I hope it goes well, because you guys for over two weeks have been asking me for something new, so I'm going to give it to you. Now, I'm not Pause. saying... Hey, yo, I <laughs> yo, hey, yo. No, please don't. <laughs> no, Phil, no. I don't want to take multiplayer oh, games out of my rotation either. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. Don't get me the wrong way because this is what idiots do. They say dumb ah, shit. I got you the wrong like way wage. already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, right. You ain't giving me shit. Go give Her it to just... your wife first. <laughs> she's high on the priority list. She needs it. She looks like she ate. she's been faint. She's been substituting that for some uh, good old snacks. Ah. <laughs> Yo, I heard your side of the world is getting pimp slapped by storms. Oh yeah, we're getting smoked right now. How you how you holding up? Are you good over there? I'm a winner, baby. I'm good. I just I got I'm you know, I got my blankets, I got my heat, I got you know <laughs> I'm good. I spent five, six hours shoveling today, bro. They smoking me. Oh we ain't we ain't get we ain't get to that part yet. We, we Oh That's yeah, my we favorite part. Three feet, bro. They're, they're capping on the I do too, but you know what I mean? Hours upon hours, it gets a little, you know what I mean? <laughs> I might nah, have to go have back to out there tomorrow. My, smoke a blunt, you know, get my music. And, uh, That's uh, pretty much uh, it. Uh, I was watching Mad. Actually, I saw Squad Zane in there, in here, and I watched the debate with him and Chozo today. Well, not watched, but I listened to it. I listened to a debate with them two, uh, LTG Detractors. Uh, Chozo and Squad saying he was in here. I was listen. I was listening to that today. That was that was interesting. <laughs> Quitting and shit like that. That's totally not the case. There are games that I've kept in the rotation, RPGs that don't get this level of support that I've kept in the rotation regardless. I mean, that entire Chrono Trigger playthrough I did over the summer was one of the slowest playthroughs I did in ages. But I love the game and I just had passion for it and I wanted to play it regardless of how much it was for <laughs> Max. All right, people will say dumb shit like that because they're morons. Now, the funniest part about that is, I just want you to think about this for a second. Let's say I you will. go to work and you yeah. put in a day's uh -huh. work. At the end of the uh -huh. day, you're told, well, you're just not getting paid today. And you go- No, well, I work an hourly wage, so that would be not- good. I mean, that, that's I, not I, wait, let work. it rock, because I've been, I've been in that position, actually, so I wanna, I wanna hear this. Oh, okay, go ahead. But I mean, it's not the same thing as what he does, but I'm gonna let him rock. These are false uh -huh. equivalents, it's, but go ahead. <laughs> go to work the next day. And you're told, well, you're also not getting paid for today. But then the next day you go in, okay, this is the third day. I feel like you're going to get paid today, right? Would you keep going to that job? Who fucking cares? I mean, it's a business as well as my hobby. <laughs> you understand that? And I'm not entitled yeah, to right. anything. Right. I'm not entitled to people coming to any particular stream 
and saying, oh, but, Phil, hold on. I feel to generous point, today. To I'll give point. you everything. No, I'm yeah, not entitled to that. That's not how this... Go ahead. To his point, he's actually right, because that's happened to me, and I'm like, I, you know, you know, motherfuckers don't want to pay me. These buildings ain't getting expected. The only ones that I would inspect would be, like, the daycare centers, the schools, and what have you, because, you know, kids, I can't... You know, the animal shelters, like, you yeah, know, I can't do that. Like, I used to walk and fucking, you know, do those. But yeah. he's right. Like, if I wasn't getting paid, I wouldn't work. But in his case, like, if I was to equate that to Phil, I would just stop streaming. Yeah, but th no, I know. He wasn't that's getting paid, stop streaming. Hey, that's what I mean by it's a false equipment because he's self he's self Pay, like he he was self-employed, so you know it's not the same as me working my forty-hour job and at the end not getting my paycheck. You are self-employed, meaning your payment is fluctuates up and down. There is no steady. So if you don't sell a lot, if you don't get tips a lot, then you have to take what you get. It's not just that you you have a job where literally you could show up and not get paid. Our nine to five is not like that. They're two different things. So how can you use that? He uses these false equivalencies a lot because he talks to dumb people all day. So they'll be like, oh, yeah, Phil, that's fine. And then go drool on their keyboard. That's who he talks to. That's who he appeals to. But you can't say that and say, well, what, what, what if you show up here nine to five job? Well, already that's over with. You've already cut this out. It's not the same thing. He just did <laughs> we this. Already, that's it. That's, that's it. We're done. Model works. We're done. But I've explained to you guys tons of times, very matter of factly, how this model works. My whole purpose being on any stream is to put out content for you that you find enjoyable, entertaining, positive, fun, engaging, and the hope is that you like it so much and you understand. I'm sorry, the what? Let me just hear that word. I knew it. Did you say dope or. The one word that starts with an H. Hold Positive, on. fun, engaging, and the hope is that you... Oh, hope. Yeah, see, one of my nine-to-five job, I don't hope. It's just mandatory that I'm going to get paid at the end. You see how you threw hope in there? <laughs> I don't have to hope I'm getting paid at my nine-to-five. You just say it right there why it's not the same thing, but go off, King. Like it so much, and you understand that the only way that you can keep it going is to support it is that you would eventually maybe support in some way. Right, and everyone could support supports in a different way. <laughs> Fort Worth. And that's fine. That's the thing. That's but, the, that's the that's the thing, Phil. As 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 explained by that YouTube rep, you don't have enough viewers for that. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't have enough viewers for that. So like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> this should have been a big way. I um, you couldn't get that information out of me, bro. I would have kept that locked away forever. I'd be like, oh, they never responded to me. I would have lied to y'all. If I had to come here and admit that I couldn't find 500 people that would accept but something for free. Totally, he doesn't have to admit this shit, though. Like, that's this is information I, I, I that's would never say it. His dreams. I would never say it. I would, that whole stop the stream to talk to YouTube would have never happened. And I definitely wouldn't have told y'all that I couldn't find nobody out of 200,000 people. I couldn't find 500 that it would accept this. Oh, Yo, no. Nah. This, this better show up on the documentary, bro. Because you there's no oh. way you can't tell me shit like this ain't going to show up on the documentary. Oh, like, that is like, great. Just, well, oh, oh, how do you feel about that? It doesn't matter to me, bro. Like I don't like I said, this is it's just it's a vortex that keeps spinning and I keep laughing at it. You know, no no matter what. No matter which way the wind blows, it's gonna be bad for Phil. Like he might catch like a little windfall from this and attention, you know, some you know, a detractor too might get ousted or whatever the fuck. But I at hope. the end of the day, sun's gonna sun's gonna <laughs> pop up. Sun's gonna pop up where it's like it's gonna not gonna look good for him. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping all that happens. I I hope that who they talk to detractor wise is just a normal normal person. That's no, all. It I doesn't pray. matter who like I said, for me no, it doesn't matter. No, like, it does. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. As a normie, right? The whole shit's retarded. It's all retarded. Yeah. So you you take take it as a whole like that's what I'm saying. Like the people in in my circles, they would sit there and be like, yo, this whole thing is weird. As a yeah. whole, they can't, they're not gonna say that, you know, like this is like Phil is okay and the detractors weird. They're gonna be like, yeah, this is all weird. And then it's gonna center right back around Phil because Phil's the fucking center of this entire vortex. I had to cover that redemption game in yesterday, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know if you've seen him. Oh, I've I, I seen it. I've seen it. I tried <sighs> to fuck with him and I realized he was crazy.
Yeah, <laughs> way past crazy. This man needs to be locked then, in a cage. I was sitting there like, yo. Yeah, <laughs> now I asked that dude. Too. Yo, I asked him. I asked him. I was like, yo, my man, did you like touch a chick's boot like in in school and some shit? And he was like, it, it was an accident. Oh. In the yes, but they grip like my man's for real, bro. You good? You yo, alright? Did you hear the call though when he was? Uh, uh, I, I just after after that, playing? I kind of I, I nah after I, I stopped. I stopped uh, after that, bro. Yeah, I stopped after bro. that, bro. He said, we're going to role play. I'm going to be a mature 23-year-old, and you guys are in 6th, 7th grade. Yeah, man, <sighs> out here fucking moving like a Power Rangers villain, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. And he looks crazy, bro. Crazy. Tell me, bro. Can you imagine? Yo, you can't imagine. You can imagine that dude sitting there and just be like, hey, hey, hey Rangers. You're too late. I've already made Twitch affiliate. <laughs> like, yeah, I can see that. And then out there, fucking Rita hit him with a fucking sensu bean or whatever the fuck she got. That nigga turned like fucking mad big. The underbite shoots lasers and shit. That's a sick underbite, too. His jaw don't, his mouth don't even move. It's, oh, God. He just looks that's repulsive. A, I don't even know what's that. That's not that's not even an underbite. That's a subterranean bite right there, bro. <laughs> it's like locked in place, dude. Oh so god. It's like some fucking things, oh. like you know those scoop things. You know, like Bob yeah. the Builder scoop. The, the, <laughs> the, 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 the things that stick out on the thing yeah. that scoops you up. That's what it looks like. Front <laughs> loader, I'm dying. They call us tractors, but his man, yo, your man dead ass look like fucking construction equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like construction equipment is crazy. The bottom yeah. of his teeth look like the top of a chain link fence, bro. That shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Ja, was popping, Pim? It's always worked out for 15 years that the support I get is enough to keep things going, right? So, and of course, I've had to change and evolve over the times, but that's how it works, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to continuously right, keep doing like, anything on my streams. I got it. Mm hmm. Redemption, Redemption Gaming's face is forklift certified, bro. Shit like that. If no one wants it and no one's supporting it, that would be incredibly stupid. I'd have to be an actual moron. And for someone to spin wow. it and say, wage quit, Appreciate wage quit, that, souls. that's bad. No, you're just stupid. No, legit, legitimately, anyone who's ever said that phrase is actually a complete brainless moron. Oh. Because you would go to work. Just think about this. You would go to your job and work several days and just say, I'm doing it for free. No, you have to pay your bills. You have to make a living. Just like everyone else on this. And go get a job. That, go get but a real one. Because sometimes, you, dude, you do shit for free because your shit goes to like DoorDash and WWE Champions. So you, you get no money. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fact. And there's no, there is no more denying that that food, or I'm sorry, that that money is going to a bunch of food. We saw her, bro. That's bro, all the proof we they need. They don't cook. They don't hey, cook, man. All the proof we need. Everything is processed. Yeah. Everything that's a, is processed. That's a processed body right there, bro. Yo, that is that a processed. Is grade A. Grade mm -hmm. A full of nitrates and preservatives, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Yeah, all it. This planet. Your You're an idiot if you out of Oscar Maya meat like she oh. is. Like, bro, I'm sorry. Oh. Like, I, like, look, look, y'all keep it a hundred. Y'all know, you know, Shinko likes his big girls, but I like girls that are just naturally big. They've been big their whole lives. That's my thing. I, I'll make, I'll make, I'll make a, I'll make a small, like I, I'll consider if you know you, you, you've gotten a little chunkier. Than you used to previously be, but like if you completely neglect your body, I can't fucks with that. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not saying oh you can't have any weight. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. People, you get big when you have kids. You get big if you. That, I'm, bro, when you go from one ten to two fifty, wow, nah, that's, come that's, on. That's my shit though. Like that's the that's you, you that can't pack that much to onto something so small. Can't front, front can't front of the ladies that they be having kids. They be sitting there like when I was a, when I was a youngin. I used to sit there and I used to just like go to like, you know, like a homegirl's house or some shit like that. I see their moms and their mom got a little weight to them. And then you look at the picture and they was like, damn, we used to look like that. And all the only thing that changed, you got like a little muffin top. Shit jiggles a little more. You, nah, you, it might, <laughs> that might be 250. She's like, gotta be like 5'4, bro. You see how stumpy she ain't had no neck no more. That's just too much you've packed onto that frame. Bro. I don't know. Like, I gotta see the bottom, man. Like, I'm intrigued yeah. now. Like, I gotta see it. Like, you're gonna she got a little go, dumpy. 
Go she out. has like a little on feet. Ain't you around her? You live by them, right? No, they out in, I mean, and why, motherfucker? Oh, I thought you. I thought. I thought you had said you were in his neck of the woods. Oh, Connecticut. No, I got a oh. homie that's in his neck of the woods. I got a homie that's oh, in his neck of the woods. Oh, that's Dad, no what doubt. it was. That okay? Yeah, yeah. My bad. My, I, that, that's when I asked you how it was. I figured you were in New York, but then I was thinking, I'm like, no, you told me you were around his spot. You were talking about Connecticut. I got you. I'm talking about Oh, like Connecticut. Yeah, I'll be. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. I've been there. Mm. What that's about, what I, I forgot. No, 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 no. I got a homie. I got a homie that's in the Tequila area. That's around Phil's area. Yeah, but I got yeah. A, I got friends and family in Connecticut too. I feel you. I feel you. You would go and do it for free. You're a complete idiot. So if you say that statement, you're the dumbest person I've ever talked to. Dang. Congratulations. The basic truth to this is that he obviously quit the multiplayer for two main reasons. One. Is because the nigga ain't getting paid what he wants to be paid. That's always gonna be a major factor for why Phil wants to take a game off his schedule. That's way too fast. And number two is because Phil's reaction time is slower than. We need to. We need to. His voice is not meant. The nigga wasn't getting no money. His voice was not meant to go that fast. My fucking upload schedule. His aim is all over the place. And once you take into consideration that the right there for a minute, huh? He was sound like Ali Sadiq real, real yeah. quick, man. <laughs> yeah, he was going quick. Yeah. We need like a 105. Yeah, you're right. We do need something. It just goes from like normal to like Usain Bolt in a minute, man. Come on. Overall player base for this game is younger teenagers and adults. His old man reflexes just can't compete. Now Facts. my dumb ass actually went and bought Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> yeah, I know. Even I can fuck up every now and again. What? I, I, I bought it. I like it. I mean, like, I think, look, I'm gonna keep it on. That's old motherfuckers that they be really reliving their army days with fucking Call of Duty and Battlefield <laughs> and shit like that. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't knock it. I like it. I buy every single one. I don't care if it's the same game over and over again. I'm gonna keep copying like, it. Like, you gotta be, it gotta got something that gotta grip me, bro. Like, if it's the same, I can't do it. It's like 2K, bro. I can't. I gotta, can't like, do it either. I, think, I can't do it. I think I bought, I bought Battlefield. Was it Battlefield? Three or four, I don't remember, I don't know which one. That was when I bought because that shit was like, bro, like the gleam, the gleam off the fucking sniper scope. You fucking blowing up buildings and shit. Like it was, it was that got me. You know what I'm saying? Like Modern Warfare one and two is you know because I just wanted to play it again. But it, it got to be something that grips me. I can't be buying these shits every year, man. Yeah, That'll yeah, I, I, I do. I, I can't front. I do be buying them every year because I, I, I don't know. I just always since Call of Duty four. I dropped off once they got like all spacey and they were got the jetpacks or whatever they were extra flying. Was, I'm like, yeah, that advanced wolf issue. I wasn't with that. I wasn't yeah, with that. I was out the I was out the pain at that point. But what I just copped was Sea of Stars because I well not really cop, but it was on PlayStation Plus. So I uh, fired it up today. Me and the kids were playing it for about like two or three minutes only because uh, it was a lot of talking, a lot of talking. I'm out here playing Peppa Pig and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig for the Xbox. So Young Flo's like, all right. <laughs> I just play COD uh, anymore. Is this for the zombies? Okay, okay. But being so well versed in the series, I know, and some of you may know. You want me to get on Sims? I I'll check out Sims. I, I I used to rock with Sims back in the day. My cousin Vanessa used to play Sims, bro. She used to be hooked on that shit, bro. I can't. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't well, knock it. I just, I just never that got Call into of Duty it. has succumbed to the worst and most anti-fun gaming practice: skill-based matchmaking. To give a brief explanation, the better you play in the lobby, the harder your opposition becomes in the future. The but the worse you play, well, you get the picture. <laughs> it doesn't take too much observation to see that our homie Phil isn't exactly a good player, and to perform this badly against players who are just as bad as he is really goes to show how bad he truly is at this genre of game. But it's all good though. Everything's cool. Because Phil came up with the bright Me too, bro. Look at his look at his face. His look at his serious Dude, cod I face. Just, I would just have him I would just have him run into C4. Like I won't even waste a bullet. I would smoke him in this game. I would. I don't even know how he's so probably far down in the matchmaking that I'll never run into him. But yo, I would I would kill him. You got me blocked on Xbox that bitch. Oh, he does. <laughs> I'm not blocked yet. You know, I was gonna think I was gonna send him some of the pictures that my my kid keeps making of him. I had her draw uh, one today of uh, of cat, and uh, I think I'm gonna send it to him. See if he'll use it as some of his uh, 
channel art. <laughs> I don't know if you will. Get their kids. They get yeah. their kids to make fussy negative things and <laughs> about being like white. Why? They just drew your family, bro. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Why are you gonna hate? But I did hey, a just, to them. Drew your wife as whore and here's a who. That's it. That's <laughs> Creatine just jumped one of them things. They appreciate it, man. JJ, welcome to the game. With this battle royale warzone. And of course, Phil plays Warzone the same way he's been playing every single battle royale game, which is terribly because in oh. the laws of DSP oh, gaming, wait, go back, go back. Who really gives a f yeah, right there, play camping. that shit. Look at that, look, look, because look, look, back. look, 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 look
This is not something you brag because you can. No, you can I don't have to move. Safe zone located. Wow. Fortuitous. Even like if you're doing all this talk. <laughs> Why bro? am I hiding in a room? Because this is called battle royale survival. This is what you do. This is how you survive. You don't fuck around and get killed. You play carefully. You get a good loadout, you find a good place to hang out, and then you pop your head out at the end. <clears throat> oh, that's how you play, is it? So these people have to sit here what? just to die when the ring gets small. So they have yeah, to sit there it. the whole time and watch you hide. Yeah, like, you <laughs> oh paying $70 God. for that. Oh, my God. Because you bought the game, so you're paying $70 for that. You wasting hundreds upon hundreds of gigabytes of space on your console for that just to sit there <laughs> and die at the end so they only get nah, to see about 20 seconds of the game <laughs> the rest is just you all the other minutes how long is it 20 minutes or something like that 20 30 i forgot how long it uh, matches but like 20 minutes of you sitting down <laughs> oh my god very meaningful right hide and beg is crazy <laughs> Those were headshots. Right, you gotta it. be kidding. They don't, that didn't make any sense at all. Bro, Those were headshots. I got four. I went in and he, I fucking shot him in the head with an LMG and he murdered me wow. instantly. Right. Wasn't in anything. Well, hey, fourth not place is all. damn good. I'm not gonna complain, but still, that was ridiculous. Why is that stuff keep popping up on his screen, too? I, uh, I, hey, fourth uh, place is damn good. I'm not gonna complain. Some paid, but something that's fucked up on his end. You cannot like, see content from other people be make because of your account is set up to change this custom. What? Still, that was like, ridiculous. He has something so you people can't, can't see it. his shit. Some shit like that. Oh. Rage quitting aside, during the month of December, the Game Awards was fast approaching, and one of the nom he disabled communications with the players. <laughs> yeah, Reb C. Oh my God, this man's afraid of any outside contact. <laughs> I'm telling you. A niece for Game of the Year was a game called Baldur's Gate 3. Now we know from one of the recent episodes of A Beggar's Journey that Phil doesn't have a good relationship with the Game Awards, as he believes that it's filled with nothing but lies and corruption. Pot meat kettle. And since Phil <laughs> has a hate warning for anything to do the Marco, Marco. he made a take, claiming that despite all of the overwhelming praise Baldur's Gate was receiving, it would in fact not win Game of the Year. The main logic behind this, this age thing, like milk theory of his was because he didn't feel the PC community was as mainstream as console gaming. Here, here's the thing though, all right? This Dude, is what a lot of people still don't understand. Right now, Baldur's Gate 3 is all the rage. And it's all the rage for good reason. Everyone who's playing it on PC is saying it's <laughs> one of the it's best like RPGs Phil. ever made, yada yada. However, it's a PC-centric RPG. So, when you look at Baldur's Gate 3, you have to judge it in the same vein as games like Divinity. Look at them noodle arms. Right? Or I can't get over. other similar titles. Baldur's Gate 3 is popular right now. But once Starfield hits, you're likely not going to hear anything about Baldur's Gate ever again. I'm sorry, but that's just the way of things. The console-centric games in this generation get all the press, get all the media attention, and get all the hype. Baldur's Gate 3, I'm glad, got the coverage that it did and that everyone has talked about it. I'm happy for that, and I'm glad that it sold like hotcakes on PC, and it was one of the highest played games, concurrent players, and all of that. But I hate to say it, these PC-centric RPGs do not get the traction of mainstream console RPGs. Even if they're better, they don't get the traction. And Yo, again, he was and already so wrong, and it was just, he was so smug, and matter of fact about it like i know Weird. that this will never have and no one's ever gonna be talking about this anymore i already know this you guys are still gonna be upset about, all obsessed about it no one will care and starfield was a bust bro starfield was a bust that shit is trash trash Freddy, you got i ain't play Baldur's gate either i ain't gonna front i ain't I, i'm i'm not a dnd -er. But, you know what I mean? I, I thought about trying it, but I ain't ever get around to it. You feel me? I'll play it. I, I, I'll play it when I have the time. I need to, I need to, like, I got too much shit that I just waste time on. Like, I, I like, I, I, I jump into, like, an open world game and shit, and I just be, like, like I said, I'll be playing Red Dead Redemption. I just be fishing. Like, mm. that's why I do is fish. <laughs> Yo, I gotta get that back. I love that Red Red Redemption game, bro. The second Sorry. one was fire, bro.
I love that's my favorite. It's a tie from one of my favorite games of all time, man. I love going to the clan in the woods. I uh, love meeting up with the clan. That's my favorite thing to do. Shout out to the KKK, bro. Am I right? I just be snuffing dudes that be talking to me. That would just be snuffing dudes that be talking to me sideways. Like, I don't even wait. Watch your, like, watch yourself now. What? Mom, let's go. Bang, let's go. I'm getting to fist fight. Go right back to my fishing. And then if you, wanna, if you really want that smoke, all right, I'm going to tie you up with a rope. I'm going to get on my horse. I'm going to put you on my horse. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just yeah. going to take you off my horse. I'm going to drop you off in the swamp, and I'm going to leave you there for alligators to eat your ass. Fuck that. I'm petty. Say what? I like the banjo redneck people. I do. I, I, I like that game a lot, man. I got to get that back, man. Because I, I had it on PlayStation 4. I got to get that. God feels taking the game of the year awards aged like gross ass milk. That's a big fact, bro. That's a big Idiots fact. In the chat. Oh, you see, he's already giving props to Starfield. I didn't say anything good about Starfield at all. I have not praised Starfield. See, I'm telling like, you, that's like the thing. It is. Like, and he sets up the semantics. Like, oh, I'm not doing this. I'm like, shut up. Like, no, yes, you are. Stop. Oh, Stop. J- just like the um. Oh, what was it? It just left my mind too, bro. Oh, oh, uh, him um, inspiring. The uh, review of the week guy. Did I just inspire this guy to make this? Oh my god, that's crazy! Then they called him out and be like, "He was doing this before you were doing it." I never said I inspired him. I never said I did that. Oh my god, you dog! You just said it. You just just said said it. it. This isn't the eighties, bro. Like (laughs) this is recorded. Like this is the shit that I always say. Like this is recorded. You are creating this on a on a server on in another part of the world. Like this is created this is archived (laughs) console games that go mainstream get more media attention get more press get more publicity and get more buzz and get talked about and even get considered for game of the year way more than pc centric games so you have to stop with the bullshit and understand the way of reality. It doesn't matter if you live in your PC bubble and all you do is play PC games, so that's all you hear about. That's not reality. Baldur's Gate 3 could uh, literally be reality. the best game of the I decade, use reality. Stop, and it's still bro. not, a, get, not, not getting as much reality. Fuck that. We live in reality. Detention is a game I already like Star dropped Game. robust, unique. Like, you're not ruining reality for me because that's the word I use. Yeah. Fort Worth, the reason he's so passionate about this is because he thinks he's so right about everything he says about video games. That's why he's, he acts so passionate about this, is that he, he he's just the all-knowing of everything that happens, and he just doesn't he get the credit because of the memes, bro. Because yeah. <laughs> of the memes. He's the main character. And, he's and a cornball. We, we, we all just, we hold him back from, you know, being in the top spot or some shit like that. I don't know. He's a cornball. Yeah, just living in his own in Philip Brunel land. I don't know. Where everyone's, uh, where cats thin and... He's rich. Uh, mine in the North Star, I appreciate you jumping five of them things in, man. Th- shout out to you, b- pimp. Okay? You have to understand this. Oh, all no. right? <laughs> no. It's time to face the facts. This is how it is now. All right? These PC games do not get the hype anymore. I'm sorry. You can fool yourself as much as you would like into thinking one way or the other. But I'm telling you like it is. They don't get the attention anymore. Even if Starfield sucks ass, it's going to be Game of the Year contender. I kid you not. Even if it's a horrible, broken, buggy fucking mess of a piece of shit game, it will still be considered for Game of the Year. Just just add it on top of it. Yeah. (laughs) But I really, really, really find it hard to believe that Baldur's Gate 3 would ever win a Game of the Year. And the game of the year is <laughs> uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Oh my. So after being proven wrong, Phil does what he always does whenever something like this happens. Do you think he admitted he was wrong? Because today yeah. is the Game Awards decompression show. Now, as you know, I've told you guys every single year, the Game Awards are not official. Oh, well, <laughs> Whoa, get the fuck there out we go. Of here. <laughs> get out of here. They're not this official, guys. I haven't been catching a lot of these shit, so like, uh, oh god. Oh, you you ain't see this. My man, I don't be checking his, dude, I've been Yo. streaming that often, you know. Oh, this. yeah, yeah, you haven't been. Well, be... yeah, yeah, I'm going to be honest. Only, like, I be checking him when I'm streaming, like, 
that's when I be catching it. But yeah, you ain't been streaming. Like, I've been recording in the event that like I, you know, I feel like streaming or something worth streaming. But I don't be like I don't check it. I check Twitter, that's... Discord, keep mm-hmm. it pushing. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. He went out like so. You didn't see how he didn't admit. Oh god, oh, boy. Well, you gotta see this, bro. The game awards do not this. represent anything official whatsoever. Just because a game won or lost or ranked but didn't win at the game awards doesn't he was mean wrong. it was good or bad. They have absolutely no bearing on anything in fact the game awards are actually voted on majority majority by journalists and we all know that games journalists are actually not in line with what most gamers want therefore we actually have absolutely nothing to talk about today so that is it for the podcast and i'll see you all tomorrow yeah it was real funny uh, that was real Crazy. funny now let him, let, him rock, let him come back and be like nope see the thing is da, 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 da. come on well, okay, except I'm that back. I say this every year and no one listens to me and everyone still judges the Game Awards as if it has some true bearing on the goodness of games and they actually will rank their like games Like you did? Based on what the Game Awards said, won or lost. Like so you I did? I having to talk yeah, about right. it every year regardless. I really wish that people would not give it as much weight or merit because quite frankly... So then why like do you? Why do you talk about these and things? And a lot of bad games get overhyped. Yeah, this is an... Ev- and I said this before. This is in every industry. The Grammys... Uh, 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 for music or whatever. That's the music one. The Grammys is that the music one? Like they give albums These of the year. Or something? All I the award they shows. Mean. They vote for the album that sells the most. They vote for that, and that wins. Doesn't mean it's the best album Dude, it's at a all. Thing. The movies. It's a it's, thing. Who cares? No one really cares about award shows. It's just something for these people could brag about. Oh, I got an Oscar. Oh, I got a yeah. Grammy. Oh, I got an Emmy. Doesn't mean the show's good that. or bad. The movie. It's just, it's in every industry, bro. Every industry, Bro, the VMAs, Denzel all said it. Remember when Denzel won the, won the award and he was like, yeah, you know, you got to meet with the Academy people. You got to talk to them, have lunch. with." It's a politicking thing. It's a marketing yeah. thing. Come yeah, on, it, it's, it's, it's in everything. Uh, this is not nothing new, bro. We all know this. So like, it's like, oh, uh, 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 let me hear. Oh, Taylor Swift won album of the year. Let me go run and get it because it's the greatest. No. I'm no. still mad at that bitch. <laughs> shit like shit like that. Shit I didn't like even that. know you shit had like smoke that. with shit her, like bro. Like I, smoke. I said it. I think it was the, my last stream. I talked about it when I had to fucking when I went to go watch the ball drop, and I'm sitting there freezing my nuts off, and this bitch want to fucking be on stage, getting all hype, and she want to take off her fucking jacket and and have a fucking sleeveless dress and shit. Like the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, uh, the Russian. Thank you for the four ninety nine pimp. This dumbass made RoboCop Rogue City playthrough so goddamn boring. How the fuck you do that? And that game is fire as fuck, and he stretched it for weeks. I did not see any of that except the one clip where he was shooting from like a block and a half away. That's the only thing I saw of it because I don't watch the ball. And Aviga with the five, man, I appreciate it. Uh, they're not official, by the way. I'm playing Baldur's Gate three because it won Game of the Year. <laughs> if you don't give me money or hold my hand, the game sucks. Great. Oh, no, I love it. I love it. Yeah. As soon as it wins, even though it doesn't matter, I'm going to start playing it. But by playing it, I mean the chat's going to tell me every little move. And oh, God. God bless the restreamers for playing that, watching that. Oh, my Lord. Because the Game Awards are focused mostly on games journalism. I'm not no Swifty. <laughs> We've all been talking about how in the last five plus years, there's been a big divide between common opinion of video games and what games journalists are saying yeah, about Fix the receding them. hairline, honest, bro. Most average gamers probably play more games than game journalists these days. Oh, so wow, how really? they have a valid opinion more qualified than ours, right? Anyway, we're not here to discuss that. We're here to discuss the elephant in the room. Mike Klum, please. A- <laughs> what? No, you said we need to discuss the elephant in the room. Like, your wife? Oh, your wife. I thought you said Mike at the same time I said Mike. I'm like, oh, that was wild. Mike Klum, please ask him about why his ears do that. I just want to know. I need to know why his ears go rogue. Please tell me why they move by themselves. It's nothing. I need to know why this motherfucker waddles. Yes. Why his arms are crimped up like that. He's not waddling. Yo. (laughs) I need to know. I need to know why they be doing that, bro. They go rogue on them. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if you can believe it, the biggest surprise shocker ever just happened at the Game Awards 2023. Are you ready for this? 
This is what everyone wants me to talk about. This is the burning topic journalists. that must be addressed right now before we get to anything else. Game of the year was not we'll given to Starfield. And that is an absolute atrocity. We all know that Starfield was definitively, without a doubt, without any kind of of criticism or commentary possible, it was the indisputable best game of 2023, hands down. How could anyone possibly say something differently? And the fact that it didn't win Game of the Year just proves that it was complete sham. This is just a bunch of people who are trying to push agendas. It's absolutely ridiculous, right? We all know there's an Xbox tax out there. No matter what, if a game is exclusive to Xbox and not on PlayStation, it'll never win at the Game Awards. And that's just a bunch of baloney. I don't know what the joke is. Of course, I'm being completely facetious with that. <laughs> That's complete bullshit, right? Uh, what's yeah, funny I, to me it's very right, not this funny. year where, where are we is that, and I this? said this earlier this year, and I'll reiterate, and I will, I'm basically going to address what people want me to address, but it's not intelligent people who want me to. Yeah, duty. they played, he, he literally played your clip in here. Uh, he, he featured your clip. To address this, sadly. Um, basically, this year was a year when there were so many games that when they came out, everyone was just so sure that they were going to be game of the year this year. Are you ready to go through the list of games? But once... <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mortis, for not letting us have a sit through that one. Please, thank you. And again, this is another thing that's nothing new in this industry, in this microwave, what are you doing for me now era, that anything new is the best at the moment, it's the best, it's top five, any album that drops, oh, it's his top five album of all time, it happens, in, again, in every industry in this time. You are saying nothing of merit. This is, you, you're not having hot, these dope takes that you think you are, bro. This is a normal thing. This is like telling me that the sky is blue. I'm going to be honest. Actually, Starfield sky sucked. Hot. And was <laughs> yes, yes. not even nominated for Game of the Year. Yeah, I think that the top two games that it was between was Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3. And I said as much. But the funny part is, people out there who are morons like to take one moment in time and act like that moment in time is eternal that nothing ever changes if you take my quote that from many months ago that said crazy. Baldur's Gate 3 is not going to win game of the year because it's PC centric and right now with everything else going on those other games like I even said Starfield is a shoe in for game of the year if it's as good as it, people are saying it's going to be and what happened well Baldur's Gate 3 released for console people absolutely loved it on console and it got more mainstream attention than it had before Starfield came out and flopped no one likes it only a very hardcore fan base of Bethesda and Xbox players are all over it. Everyone else is like, wow, what a disappointment. Didn't even get nominated for Game of the Year. As you can see, Phil cannot handle being told he was wrong. So instead of simply owning up to it, he wouldn't... Yeah, and it, it's okay to be wrong. Look, at I had to come here and say, I really thought that Craig was going to fumble the pack with the interview. And I sat here and admitted I was wrong. Said I was wrong about the whole thing. He did amazing. Gotta show him love. He did amazing. You can it's okay to admit when you're wrong, because we're not we're not perfect. We make hey, assumptions, we jump out the window. The big issue here is is not the fact that, you know, he was wrong, is that is that he he didn't have to put himself in that position. Like he didn't have to go in that fucking tirade <laughs> and like double, triple down and like you know, solidify what he was saying. Facts. That, that's right. the, that's the thing. It's not that you just talked about, yo, like, you know, like, Starfield's gonna beat Baldur's Gate three. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's what I'm predicting. He could have just said that. Nope. He's like, no, Baldur's Gate three is not gonna do it. You gotta accept reality. This is a PC. This is a PC game. PC centric games are not gonna make it. Like, you you made that position. True. So True why are you funny. getting upset? Why are you getting upset that you're wrong? It's corny. He's corny. He's cor Duty, stop. Your girl Melanie's trash, okay? She don't even know what's up. She don't know what to believe, bro. She don't know what to believe. That girl needs she to get hit by a bus. She don't know what to believe in. <laughs> she can <laughs> only imagine. <laughs> she needs to be hit by a bus, bro. Maybe that'll straighten her out. I, I ain't say all this. You see what I'm saying? You can't put me in the boat. You can't put me in that boat, bro. <laughs> no, I'm no, just no. saying, I'm just... She's not for me. That's it. She's oh. not for me. You out here... You out here talking about her getting hit by a fucking bus and shit. 
<laughs> she needs. Don't rap Shinko's. All my thoughts are not about, Shinko's, all right? I'm just talking about something that I disagree with. You out here talking about vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I don't want her to die. I just wanted to get hit, clipped by it, and then maybe it'll straighten out her brain a little bit. But if she was to die, I'm, probably, I'm not going to cry. Shoot, that's what they want, right? Oh, wait. They're, oh, wait, wait. What, answer Maximus's question. Uh, Melanie, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll, put that, I'll put that up. I think, I think, if we're going to, like, uh, I'm going to have to say, bro, I'm going to have to say Melanie. I'm going to have to say Melanie. I'm sorry. Don't, don't do Brantley I, like that. Shout out Brantley. Shout out King. I'm sorry. Man. She, she cool, but I got to, mm-mm. Bro, I hate that girl, man, so much. <laughs> I, I, I just good, but I, that's that's how, what I see. I'm, mm, I'm liking it. You know. That's a she, fact, Brantley, man. Just... Brantley's giving me, Brant, like I said, Brantley's giving me, like, you know, Taylor Swift vibes, you know how I feel about her. And, you know, <laughs> Melanie's great value, Avril Lavigne. I don't have a problem with, Al, you know, Avril Lavigne. So, you know, I have to lean towards Melanie. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Go from all that chaoticness to uh, uh, Mortis's slow voice <laughs> is hilarious. Team Heath didn't say that even their Starfield released with bugs and glitches. That was one hell of a derail. Yeah, but we back now, baby. We needed it, man. Y'all did it. You wanted me to see the Drac, and I saw Drac, and I'm so happy about they it. It would have been a contender over Bald Escape 3. Because you have imagined the smugness filled with radio. Oh, uh, Zeresh, appreciate that we're on 99 Pimp. He said that th this is trash, and his content is better. Oh, then the Drac? Oh, absolutely not. Yet if Starfield actually won Game of the Year, we would never hear the end about how he was right and how dumb his detractors were. But since that wasn't what actually happened, Phil has to fall back on his previous narrative that the game awards are only out to promote agendas. <laughs> and whatever game wins doesn't Square, really matter in the grand scheme of things. He then goes on to announce that he was going to be starting a brand new playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 due to high demand. But if the game didn't live up to his standards, and we should all have a really good idea what those standards truly are, then he wouldn't hesitate telling his viewers that were begging for him to play this game that they were wrong. That Baldur's Gate 3 was nothing more than overhyped garbage. But if you try to call him out on setting this game up for failure, then you're just an idiot who's making excuses. As a direct result of your request, as a direct result of the Game Awards, and as the direct result of the generosity of viewers because I received a donation on Monday on the daytime stream starting right then at 12.45 p.m. Pacific time for the first time ever right here live on DSP Gaming because you want it for all the months that you've asked for and told me that I was wrong for skipping it. On Monday, we're starting Baldur's Gate 3. Yep. And let Just me tell so you something. It won. If this isn't the best RPG I've ever fucking played in my life, if it's overhyped, if it feels underwhelming, if it's a slow-paced piece of crap, I'm going to be pretty pissed off because you guys keep telling me it's the best RPG ever and I'm so wrong for skipping it. If this game isn't great, I'm going to call you out. But my thing is, what's the ready. basis? Like, you don't have an opinion, so what's the, what's the, like, we're not talking about tips here. We're not talking about support. You're talking about, like, you playing the game and enjoying it. If you don't enjoy the game, then, you know, you're going to bitch at these people. But, like, what are you going to base that on if you don't play games? Right. <clears throat> uh, you don't um, have fun with games. Like, we know this. You don't play games. You don't enjoy games. You don't have fun with them. This is your 9 to 5. This is not a hobby. This isn't passion. This isn't... This is a job to you the same way like it's a job for a Walmart reader. So what are you basing your enjoyment on? <laughs> it's kind of the same thing, dude, you know, <laughs> if you know, you know, <laughs> no, nah, but for real, though. Yeah, nah, yeah you, you, that's a fact. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. And, and, and now with the uh, with the game and how he's playing it, it's it's how could you judge if it's good or not? If it's not really, you are just like on autopilot because you're not doing yeah. any of these moves by yourself. They are just telling you all day long what to do. So does that make it good? Does that make it bad? Like it, it solely to me is just on, is it going to generate a lot of income? Yes or no. That, that's all it could be. That's all it is. Yeah. But and, don't and, he, and he shouldn't complain about the money at all because he didn't spend any. There was no investment in this. It was donated. So anything, a dollar, he's already won. So he so can't, I don't want to hear you complain at all. That's that mental illness. <laughs> don't worry, I'm going to be fair. I'm not going to unfairly judge this game. I'm not. I'm going to be fair and I'm going to be calm 
and I'm going to judge it for itself fairly as we play it. But my God, you guys have ridiculously overhyped this game. And every time that I've asked the question, how is this game the best RPG? No one can answer. Well, it's got a great story. So do other RPGs. Oh, well, it's, it's good combat. Other RPGs have great combat. Oh, the atmosphere. Yeah. Oh, well, the devs listen to the fans. Other devs have listened to fans. Can you definitively explain to me what exactly it is? In this game that makes it stand out. Can you pause? The bear Can you pause real quick? That's every. Oh, go ahead. Because I. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go to ahead. answer your question, Phil. To answer your question, right? I'm going to use the same excuse that you use with the side scrollers. Okay. Your audience. You you asked. You asked a question. What makes this the best RPG like ever or whatever? Your audience gave you the answers. They gave you their answers. You just refused to accept them. Right. Good. Those are just reasons like, like, why they are. Just because other games have done it doesn't make it that this one can't be still good. Just because other people have done the same thing. It's yeah. and it, but you were told, but you just don't want to accept the you don't want to accept reality. Facts. Cornball. Sex scene. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. You tell me the game is good because it has a bear sex scene. What are you, five years old? So that's what I mean. Like when everyone says it's the best, but no one can actually hey, can we explain pause right why. So, uh, Phil, to ask, to, to to can I ask you a question? So, because this has a sex scene in it, right? This is like for immature children, you would say. So, wouldn't you say that back in the day you were shoveling bullshit to little children? Also, facts. Because you were telling the sex jokes. I don't You're even talking know. about sex and boobs. No, he's admitted it. He, he's, he's peddled this shit to children. So. No, I'm talking about the bear sex scene. I, I, oh, you, I did I, see it. I did see it because I was very interested into uh, what that really meant. And I looked it up, but I found out it's not even one that you need to actually do. You could skip that. Like, you ain't even have yeah, to like, really yeah. do it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's a little... Well, Nugs, to, to answer your question, see, the thing is, Nugs, that's how his mind works. So Nugs says, technically, sexual themes are not for children, and you're right. But in Phil's mind, the sexual jokes and sexual themes in nature were for, like, little teenagers. He said Facts. this. He, he, he's literally said this. No, he so did. So he, okay, he thinks it's okay to push sexual themes onto children. You said so he was going after the teen audience. Mm-hmm. Kids. That's something. <laughs> that's something we could put on Phil. Yo, I just looked over at my YouTube playback window, and it's so far behind, and Dracula showing back up. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me wonder about it. Okay, now again, I'm not trying to set the game up for failure. I'm a realist. All right, I'm telling you, I already figured from everything you guys have told me about this game. I don't think it would work for my stream. But I'm listening to your feedback. You want it. It won game of the year. All right. And basically it's been donated now. So every factor has lined up. I have no excuse to not play it. I'm going to play it. All right. In fact, I actually think at this point there's been so much demand. There's been so much stuff that people have asked for. I'll give it a shot. All right. Now, yes, I will be very honest with you up front. If I play this game within two to three streams... Everything is falling off. People aren't showing up. People are disengaging, not even talking about the game. They're just talking about other shit. They're saying it's boring in the chat. Engagement's dead. Support is dead. No one cares about the game. No, I'm not going to fucking play this game for 100 hours. No. Absolutely not. The thing is, if it's good, if I'm hooked on it, and I really like it, and you guys are liking it, and we're all engaged, we're having a good time, and it ends up being a great stream, I am happy to play this. But I want that atmosphere. I don't want, oh, everyone wanted it, but it was a trick because it's a fucking game that everyone knows won't work for his streams. Then I'm not playing it. Fuck off. You know? And now my thing is, it. you should know You should know that these, like, again, it shows the ineptitude on your part because, like, like you should be looking into this. Yeah. You should right. be looking into this to see if it fits with your streams. You should know why this game would or would not be a good fit for your rotation. You say it yourself. You're on YouTube. You look up other content creators. So why isn't you do? Why aren't you doing the research? Nah, it's too much, man. He's too busy. Six days a week, full time. <laughs> he can't. He can't do nothing. And and 
all what what does fit mean what does fit mean like that they aren't helping you out is that what if they weren't helping you would it not fit no nah, i'm That's just saying like it's just it like for him he's saying like it's not his style of, so basically it won't fall in line and like it won't it won't fit with like his schedule because he uses these games like he doesn't play these games he uses these games as like props the same way he uses his wife the same way he uses john rambo so the thing is he wants to play the game and see if it gives him money if if he gets him the money it gets him the engagement then he can pad this game out for future streams gamer gunk is shinko that's who's talking right now on this video what's up shinko oh on the video oh it's x mortis my bad pimp Right here. Shout out to X Mortis. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Shout out to X Mortis. That's simple because I already feel like it won't work for my format. I've told you that already. I've predicted that. But maybe, you know what? I would like to. Formats be full of degenerate, disabled people that can't mm -hmm. hold retention. But now, I mean, now I guess they could. And they fooled me because they're helping them every step of the way. So I guess they are. Maybe, maybe that's what they wanted this whole time. It's a game to literally handhold all the way through. Ah, uh, this man hates his viewers. <laughs> proven wrong. I would love to be proven wrong. I love. Here's the thing. I love RPGs. Did you notice? <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Uh, He's doing it again. He's doing uh, it again. Uh, oh my god! Fuck this. This is insanity. I'm done. This is over. I'm done. I'm not redoing it. I'm done. She's gonna heal him. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. It's over. Goodbye. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, there goes all that money from the patrons. That's man, it for Persona right? 3, ladies yep, and gentlemen. That's the worst done. final boss fight I've ever Target. done in an RPG. That's not an exaggeration. That is the worst final boss fight I've ever done. Uh, and I'm not redoing it. So I don't care about the end of the game. I spent. I don't care uh, you about know, that. One, I robbed two, you. Two, three, <laughs> four, over four months. Uh, and I'm not doing it again. He also goes on to further push this game to failure by claiming it's a game that cannot fit his style of streaming due to the fact that you have to pump so many hours into Easy it, mode. despite Aww. the fact that he's done so for games like Yakuza. But I'm pretty sure we all know what game DSP is really trying to pump them hours into. He also tries to persuade his audience into his line of thinking. So when the game starts showing the signs of flopping, his audience won't you get You know what I want to do? I want to film like on the street, like a man on the street segment and go around and ask people if they find Phil attractive. What would you vote, Phil? I would love to do that one. I want to see what the streets would I, say. I yo, I really yo, I've been fiending to do that shit, bro. Like fiending to do that shit. I think I might do it this year. <laughs> I think I might do it. I know New York City, you might get the greatest responses, bro. <laughs> you gonna say, you gonna, yo, you gonna have some dude like, yo, what the fuck? What is he saying? Fuck this guy. Yeah, I was like, what, what do you think about this guy? Show a nice little picture of Phil. <laughs> I would love to. Hard time. He looks like a pedo. To drop it. Not that this game, all right, is a bad game. It's that this game does not fit the format of a variety streamer. If it's the format of someone who sits there and just plays one game endlessly, which doesn't work for me, my audience wouldn't even like that because my audience is a diverse audience that likes different things. Today, there'll be people watching Warzone, and then there'll be a different crowd tonight. For like All these crowds, but couldn't fill 500 memberships. I love mm -hmm. this talk. I love it's it. Diverse crowd. Uh, <laughs> it's diverse. Thousands of different people. No. <laughs> no, sir. There'll be a different crowd for my react show. There'll be a different crowd for Baldur's Gate 3, and there'll be a different crowd for Street Fighter 6. There will be some crossover, but you have to understand between those five streams, there's probably a thousand different people who'll be watching. Ooh. That's not an exaggeration. Okay, if nice I just sit here snap. and I only play Baldur's Gate 3, I'll get the same couple hundred people the entire stream and that's it. And everyone else will complain, why'd you forget us? Right? That's why, that's the secret to my success. 15 years in the business, why do you think I'm still here and I still have a fan base that likes my content and feels it's pertinent? Because I'm a variety but streamer. But you can't get those, you can't get those so memberships though, right? To a, a, a bigger, <laughs> wider viewer base. You can't get those memberships. If I just played one genre of game constantly, I would have been gone years ago. I would have been completely outdated and no one would have given a shit about me ever again. All right? That's, that's where we are now, Phil. A lot of content creators, they're one game specialists and they fade into obscurity. Right? Oh, yeah, so yeah. Tim the Tap Man. I haven't heard of him, his name in a long time. Um, uh, uh, who, what's it? Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, no, no, they don't. 
who who's that dr what i know a lot of these big streamers that play one game they don't they don't last at all ever you're right 100 percent. still here they should take phil's advice because he's very successful these people don't make any money at all so we should definitely take phil up because the formula works i never said oh i'm not going to like it like i don't even know where you're getting that from in fact I like RPGs. They're one of my favorite genres. I grew up playing them, for God's sakes. And they're some of my favorite games of all time. What makes you think I'm not going to like the game? Right? What I'll tell you, though, is the insane amount of hype that this game has gotten because people just keep saying so many good things about it. It better be good. It better not be a case where all of you bought into hype and you all got, you know, completely fooled for a game that's, man, maybe good, but not necessarily best in class. Everyone's saying this is best in class. You better fucking show me why. Not kiss the game's butt for four months, and then when I play it, oh, you see, well, you don't like it because you didn't play it four months ago. No, a good game is good forever. So fuck off with your excuses already. The fact that people even okay, said that so in my wait, chat, so okay, what about the games that you haven't played before? So you could play, you could play, you could play Tales of Arise. You could play that. Remember, you you didn't get to play that. There's so many games that you skipped over. Why don't you bring those back into the rotation? Right, and and, and this is what I'm, I'm not understanding. He's talking about. The game being hype. The people could have been hyped four months ago when they wanted you to play this game because it's like, yo, everyone's playing it. I'm playing it. It's great. It's great. It's good. You took months after month after month to play this game. Their hype probably died down. So, yeah, they might be not as hyped for you to play a game four months after the fact because we've already seen a bunch of people play it that we wanted to see. We wanted you to play it and you didn't do it. That's okay. Shiny Pokemon, I, yes. hold on. Can I just interrupt you? So Shiny Pokemon says you really think King Den is going to go back and play old games. He's done that before. He, he He's played, played uh, Hades. <coughs> he went back Hades. and played that 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 game on the mini PC or whatever. What was yeah. it called? So he played he played Hades a year later, a year later after the hype went down. Mm. He played because games. it was he like played. an RNG. It was like an RNG. It was an RNG, and he had to look up all the, you know, meta weapons and stuff like that. He's done this shit before. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. He's done that. He's played. Uh, he went back and played that one. What's it called? Chrono Trigger. Yeah, Chrono Trigger. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. He went back and played that. He plays a lot of old games. I mean, here and there. No, Shiny, you ain't gotta apologize. Yeah, you gotta apologize. Me. It's just like I tell, I'm telling you. Like, but see, that's the thing. Like, he obfuscates so much. Like. You wouldn't know, like that's how that's how you get that's how you get pulled in, right? Because you don't know this shit, and then you find out this shit, and you're like, "Yo, you a scumbag, Phil." Like that's how it gets you. Right. Proves that they're nervous. It proves that they're nervous that the game isn't as good as they've hyped it up to be, and now someone's gonna call them out matter of factly for it, and they're gonna look like jackasses. So maybe yeah, you're you really gonna get them, the found. That good. Yeah, I'm just saying. Kill them. Get it get them. Found. Now your game will shine. So let's find out starting Monday. Okay. But despite all of the negative speculations about this game being a disaster for his streams, yeah. his first stream of Baldur's Gate turned out to exceed his expectations. Oh and yeah. And over 1,000 live viewers. Now DSP has always had this notion that in spite of being a successful streamer, his channel is also failing at the same time. And he's been on a hunt for the one game that's gonna save his channel. Now you would think with Baldur's Gate 3 being a hit for his streams, regardless of Phil's whining, and having people begging for him to play the game even more, that he would take advantage of that momentum and make the necessary changes to his schedule to give the viewers not. what they want. False, wrong, yeah, incorrect, right. negative, no, nay, absolutely not. Of course he wouldn't, because in the laws of DSP gaming, who really gives a fuck about what my fans want me to do? Right. Now, even though. Like, it's such a bad thing that they wanted to see it one more day. No, no, I'm not going to play it one more day. I'm not going to do that. Then it, it, Why? You've done game. You've played Street Fighter the beta all weekend long. So let's not act like you can't play this game one more day because they want to see it. And just, oh, and that's why I'm different than other people. They would just capitalize on it. No, first of all, that's called different. being A, that's not stupid or trash. That's smart. And B, if the people are really want to see it you want to give the people what they want 
damn Who straight. Can, no, no, we're going to play RoboCop instead where nobody wants to see it and everyone wants to see you play it again. Just be, if people, if I was like you, Phil, when nobody really respects me and p someone actually, a, a bunch of people show up, mostly detractors, let's keep it a bean, but whatever. Uh, uh, most, a lot of people show up and they're asking for it again. I would just give it to them again. One more day exactly. is not the end of the world. Your little You're autist. Gonna get money. You're like your little autism that you have with your schedule, uh, you're gonna have to fix that, bro. You're gonna have to fix that because people want to see it. Let them see it. It was a big success. DSP decided that he was gonna stay a cook to his streaming schedule because the future success of Baldur's Gate wasn't a guaranteed thing. John, and when people were telling him, he, as you would expect, went on a tirade about how he was running a successful business. And since his style of streaming has kept him going for this long, then he didn't see any reason to change. <laughs> and during this little rant, you can see Phil exhibit a huge lack of self-awareness. Now, I will address direct criticism and suggestion that I received yesterday, because here's what happened yesterday, okay? That stream, on average, had about 1,000 viewers. At one point, we were over 1,400. By the end, we were around 800, okay? Yeah. So people said, wait a minute, Phil, this is crazy. Look how many people you got on your stream. You should immediately change all of the streams for the rest of the week and keep playing Baldur's Gate 3. You shouldn't let the momentum die. You should keep it going. And I said to everyone, well, I'm not going to do that because I have a schedule. I'm a variety streamer. I have people who are- I have autism and I can't stop and I'm hyper-focused on the schedule being correct, so I can't change anything. Expecting me to do various games that I've already scheduled out for the week just because I had one booming popular stream for this game doesn't mean that everything else now changes and makes room for it. That's not how I operate. And I got so much shit from people in the chat. Oh my God. Phil has no idea. Listen to this. I love this one. Phil has no idea how to operate a business. He does. Someone yeah. actually said that to me in the chat. Yeah, because in a real business, me. If, something me. Is Someone if something is selling well, you don't be like, ah, I'm going to pull it off the shelves for a week. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what? I sell this this toy at the store uh, and then and everyone is just lining up outside thousands of thousand people are outside to get this and they want to show back up tomorrow and get the same thing nah i'm gonna put it off the shelf for a couple days i'm successful <laughs> oh, oh okay <laughs> but. someone who has run his own business since january of 2011 and i've done this for a living for 13 years I have no idea how to operate a business. You have don't. You, have you seen your years of save yeah, the house? You have you, did you black that time out? Yeah. I've never I, seen a successful person be like, yo, I really like, please help me out. Like this is, this is the end of the line for me. I like, if you do not help me, like. Right, Ruthless. Nah, I'll sell it again next week. Meanwhile, others are giving it away around the block for free. Facts. The, the bankruptcy doesn't tell me that it's successful. Um, there's a lot of things that point to the fact that, no, you, you really don't know how to operate a successful business. So, yeah, I think they're in they're, they're, they got basis to their claim here of saying you don't like just because you've been around since for like over a decade is not no accolade when half that time was spent saying I can't feed my my huge wife what do you mean uh, half like that's, a, like, that's like more than quarters. half i can't feed, yeah. i can't feel i can't feed my huge wife i can't feed my <laughs> underage daughter i need like he's been doing this shit forever <laughs> here's the thing here's how all the youtubers operate out there okay oh there's a hot new game it's the new viral game it's the new fall guys it's the new among us it's the new pizza you power played? it's the new whatever it is Oh, we'll play it exclusively for a week or two. And then, oh, the hype's done? Drop it. And that's what they do. Like, that's the formula they follow. They don't actually care about the content they're putting out. They don't care about the viewership. They don't care about putting out a good playthrough or something meaningful. All they care this about projection is, is wild, popularity wild. and money. Wild. So they play what's popular, and when it's not popular anymore, they drop it like a hot rock and don't give a shit about it ever again. So Drop it like a this hot is rock. why Drop I'm like different from rock. other content creators. The fact that I'm here for 15 years and I'm still successful, despite the fact I'm not a virally popular YouTuber. I don't want to be. I don't want 
to follow the trend that everyone else does that you jump but on the you popular do. game. That's you That's why you have a react channel. And you drop it like a hot rod. I don't want to do that. <laughs> right. I want to make meaningful content for you. I want it that when you come to DSP Gaming, you know that if I started a game that I like, I'm finishing it. You can casually watch it from start to finish at your own leisure. And then... Okay, that has nothing to... Those things don't even track. We're talking about playing it again. Nobody is telling you that... You can... Uh, we're not talking about dropping the game. We're saying play it one more day. That that Well, not we, because I don't care. But they are saying you... play. It, they're asking you to play it one more day. No one's telling you to drop it. Nobody's telling you to forget about it. None of this. You just wanted to take a shot at other people. Because none of this has anything to do with it, bro. Not a thing. If you enjoy... The playthrough hopefully you would support the channel right as opposed to oh look he's playing the same game as everyone else and so let me just watch it for a couple days but then know that he's never going to go back to it because that's the kind of youtuber he is right that's fleeting popularity that doesn't mean anything you know what that means that's completely worthless content that content can be watched for a, a week or two and then it's not pertinent anymore oh they didn't pertinent finish the game because they didn't try to make something meaningful for their audience. They don't even care about their audience. They can right. give two shits who's on their stream. What they mm -hmm. care about is this. That's yeah. not what I'm here for. It's definitely That's not That's never you. what that I've been here for. Since the day I started strong, making YouTube bro. videos. Wow, I never bro. intended to make a dollar making YouTube content. Because you couldn't. Stop. We know the game, bro. We've been around the block. You couldn't. You couldn't. You could not monetize gaming videos back in the day. So stop with this, oh, we didn't intend it. Nobody did because you couldn't do it. But as soon as you could, did you say, I don't want to. I'm just going to keep working. Nope. You jumped right on that band. Or you jumped on that jam. Jam. You jumped on that bag and you... And, and and you've been and, and you've been doing it ever since as soon as you were able to you linked up with somebody that can get you that bag and then you were on, off to the races bro i wanted to make content that was funny that <laughs> i'm was falling funny. under a spell it's we yeah right i know I, it was a self-report you know i'm actually one of his biggest baldur's gate three fans i love his content on it I, all I, that's all i ever watch meaningful insightful honest different that's who i've been since day one why people still don't understand insightful since day one insightful did you watch your old playthroughs pimp what was insightful about that Stand that i don't get it so much shit then you get and people dicks and balls who say and really really dumb <laughs> right. things like well if you're successful then then why do you have to ask for contributions because that's my model my mo <laughs> model that's what but see that's what your model as a business fails because, again, you have nothing to offer, so you have to beg people. So what is it that you offer as a business? What is the good or service that you provide? <laughs> the model is begging. <laughs> yeah, it's a sick model, bro. Yeah, I think that's a lot of Fortune 500s. They do that, too. Their model is just strictly beg. On what's popular, bring in a bunch of no-face viewers who I don't care about, have them throw fucking money wow. at me because I'm playing the popular viral game, and move on to the next nonsensical, meaningless content for mouth droolers. I don't do that. I make meaningful content for a directed audience. It's called curated content. Now, if you like that content, if you like that it's different. So can we pause real quick? Mm-hmm. So again, when he says that, he doesn't under like he doesn't like I understand what he's trying to say, but it doesn't sound good in the reality that he's in. Okay, so what he's trying to say is I have a specific group of people who like his shit, right? Now, the thing is, that's what he's trying to say. I have a group of people who like my content. That's what he's trying to convey. But the reality is, is that he has two, three, four, five, six whales that he drains money out of. So he creates this kabuki theater of a stream to get <laughs> money out of them. Facts. And he just admitted Talk about that. it. That is a big Fendi. Um, oh my God, <laughs> yo, yo. Appreciate the fact that this week I stuck to my schedule to play the games that were scheduled, despite the fact that Baldur's Gate 3 did so good yesterday. If you appreciate that, then please come by, enjoy all the content, and support it. And yes, it means I have to mention it. It means I have to have little segments 
where I have to say, hey, Why? please support this different You don't content. need to. This oh, you don't need to because this is a curated audience. So this curated audience, they see these, they know the situation already. That's the thing. Like, we already know what the, what the thing, like, we we know what what the, what the situation is. So why the fuck do you have to keep begging? Right? Yeah, right, right. We we know what you're after. We know what you what you got and you, what, what you need. We all know that. We heard it. You've been around for so long. We know this already. But the fact is, if the people loved you, they would do it regardless. If they want to support you, they would do it regardless. You asking for it shouldn't be. Uh, uh, you asking for it, period. Like, period. 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 I don't understand that concept. I'm sorry. I'm if sorry. three people out of three hundred plus viewers are throwing money at him, is it really doing? Is it really doing well though? That yo, gotta ask yourself. That's a big yeah, fendi. How many of those things do I do? Zero. Goose egg. Zero. I strive to be different because I feel like my style is better, and I should. When you are someone who has your own business and you put out a product, you should feel that your product is superior to everyone else's. I feel like those who come and hang out at my streams and give it a true chance and enjoy the content for what it is, like it a lot more than someone who just goes and watches a popular streamer for a minute. Oh, wow, look at this. He's playing fucking Among Us. Wow, ha, 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 and then they move on. If I No, okay, that's funny because th those streams... <laughs> Had a bunch of big uh, streamers on them, had a bunch of big YouTubers on them, and it was like a big collaborative effort. That's why a lot of people were flocking to them, and that's why a lot of people were watching them. Shockingly, that corpse husband dude who I, because, you know, I'm the true crime bull, so I was w listening to those stories that he would tell way before he just exploded and became, like, super popular uh, playing that Among Us or whatever. That's why that game was popping was because of that. But you are afraid of human contact. So you can't have that because you can't interact with humans. Because I don't know if you just don't know how to or what, but Your you are afraid of don't know how to. He doesn't know how to fucking not call himself Dark Side Phil when he plays a fucking video game. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, That's, right. Yo, I guarantee you, bro, like, if this dude, when he plays a multiplayer game, if he just stopped calling himself DSP or whatever, yo, like, that would... Bro, like that would solve like ninety five percent of his players' uh, problems on multiplayer. True, but every time he hops on a multiplayer game, he has to call himself Dark Side Phil. Always, always, because it's not every not every game not every game you know uses the gamer tag. That's other <laughs> shit. Like you can just use a different gamer tag and you know n not let people know about it. Yo, uh, Aviga. Thank you for the two, Pimp. Yeah, definitely. I reached that well call. <laughs> I appreciate it, Pimp. <laughs> I only play Baldur's Gate 3 and didn't care about anything else. What about all the other people who watch Robocop, who watch Street Fighter, who watch other games and want to see those too? That's not fair to them. What did they do wrong that now they get treated like the red I mean, do you don't care guy? about the motherfuckers? Because At all. another game's more popular right Because you know what? As soon as they don't give you no chicken, you're out. You don't care. That's how I know you don't. Because play the game and just don't get no bread. What's wrong with that? That's why you won't do any. Oh, Repsy, shout out to you, pimp. I appreciate it. That's why. That's why you you won't do any member streams because you won't you won't get any money because you know that's already they already month they pay for it monthly. So now you won't get any. You feel like you won't get any tips. So that's why you won't do it. You don't care about these people, bro. You don't care about which I think is disgusting. You should at least give them an extra stream. That's how I feel. I do it. I mean, I feel like it's it's you should be doing that. Give him some extra. Plays, he plays he plays he he plays twice a day. There's no excuse. He makes his own schedule. He has no overhead. He has no prior obligations. There's no excuse to fit these games in. None. Just play the fucking game and just let Ryan give you his money. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, and just go right there. Actually, he should set, set up a system. Where he just talks to Ryan and he just forwards it to Scopely. I think that he, we could just cut the middleman out. You know, I feel like that'll work better since it's already going right to the scopes. Now, what did they? Nothing. Right, they didn't do that, anything to deserve. He needs that. He needs. He likes to spend. It's not even just Scopely. It's that he has a pro, he has a consumer problem. And the he just likes store. to spend money on shit. What do you think about uh, Mike Clem talking to Scopely? 
I that's one thing I really did. He was like, oh, I talked to the, like we might have the devs and all that, but I'm like, I really don't care about that. I just want to know if he, I mean, how much he spent. Like is, I don't care about. We know how much he's, we know we know how much he's been spending on it. That's that's a done deal. That's a done deal. Nothing will ever take that away. And he had a chance to refute it. He did it. Nothing will take that away. He spent too much money on fucking Scopely. Right now, the only thing Mike could do is probably like reach out to the developers, and he probably say some shit about how many people were like how many people were contacting Scopely. About Dark Side Phil or some shit like that. Or they'll talk about the game, or they're not gonna talk about Phil's thing. They're gonna talk about either how the trolls keep contacting them, how the trolls keep contacting them, and, or and or how the game is played. That's about it. We're not right. getting nothing juicy from that. How do you uh what if, now I asked the people? What if he it comes out and a guy says that, that he has not spent anywhere near that amount? Oh, that's not, that's a, that's a, like I said, it's a done deal. He had, he had a chance to disprove it himself. So you won't believe it. it if they came out and they were like, here, they, they, nope. they said, no, nope, he's never spent that much money. Nope. Can't believe it. Sorry. With, with his bank leaks and the fact that his email address is associated with a scope of ID, highly doubt it, homie. I won't, I am going to have a hard time believing it because of the, the leaks. That's what I'm gonna have a hard time believing it, but I'm just saying. Because what what was it that you spending a hundred and ten dollars on on a fucking iTunes charge? Yeah, right. You're buying music, <laughs> all that There's all no that time. Oh, I just love supporting the artist. <laughs> deserve that, right? That's messed up. That's because I'd be doing it solely, solely for personal gain, and I'm not what doing things doing? solely. You for are. Personal gain. I refuse. I do things because I feel like they have meaning for me and my audience. Okay. Oh, what? Uh, this is all for personal gain. What are you talking about? I'm excited to play more Baldur's Gate 3. I can't wait to play more Baldur's Gate 3 tomorrow and Friday and continuing on with this playthrough in balance with the rest of my variety streamer schedule. That's how I operate. If you have an issue with that, you can go watch someone who played the game for two weeks and never played it again because all they cared about was the flash in the pan popularity. Or on the flip side, you could go watch one of these streamers who plays the crap out of that style of game and probably was a master of it and played it for a month straight and dominated the game and had a great time, go watch them too. But if you want a true, honest, first-time experience from someone who has no oh, first time. knowledge of the series, of D&D, of Baldur's Gate, who only game I've ever played was Divinity 2, didn't finish it, and if you want to see all the foibles and the, the, the mistakes I'm going to make and me arduously learning this system and having the opportunity to actually interact with me and help me out to understand how this game works... And if you want to be a part of that awesome process, no matter how dozens or hundreds of hours it ends up being, and you're okay with waiting for the content because the content's good, it's genuine, it's meaningful, it's not made to print money for me, it's made to have meaning for the audience. If that's what you like, then by all means, subscribe to the channel, come back when I play the game, and enjoy with me. That's the difference between Phil Burnell, Dark Side Phil, and DSP Gaming, and everyone else there out is. there. Right? Yeah, but, it, okay, right there, right there. If you were to say that, cool. But don't ask if it doesn't come. Pause. If it doesn't show up, don't ask for it. That all, once you ask, it negates all of what you just said. Because it's... We don't even you, talk about asking. It's just, and that's, the, it's just the, it, the entitlement. The entitlement negates all that shit. Like I said, the fact that you think... Like, there's another dude right now. He's making the rounds on Twitter. Reforge Gaming. At that dude, he's he sound like DSP. Like it's the entitlement that you think people are supposed Reforged to give you money. Gaming. Yeah, it's just some dude like he's like a video game dude, and like he just begs. He just begs, just like DSP. Like he just gets it. He expects memberships. He wants money. He won't talk. He's like the, he's like LTG. He won't acknowledge you if you won't go green. Like, bro, oh, I don't I understand how you right people here. could do that because you don't have any. Like you don't have a personal stake. Oh my lord, who is this guy? I've never yeah, seen Yeah, listen, this. listen to the listen to the this one right? Listen to the rant. That's why I'm bro. still here uh -oh. successfully here. And they success. really Liquid Smoke Smith, what did he mean this place is turning into a crap show? I've been watching for five years. Must be watching two different streams. I'll tell you why he said that. I'll tell you why. Because there are people that come here and they really like Xbox and my dissatisfaction with Xbox has been internalized as this place is now appealing to the, a crowd that's mean and unkind, right? 
they can't divorce the idea of like they still like Xbox. Lono doesn't like what they've been doing. So this place is oh, you click know on the, is click going on the quote to hell. This is essentially what they're doing. I'm on it. this one. You mean? Let's see this one well, where he's he like that ass like he's like yo like I don't want to acknowledge non-member or some shit like that. This place is turning into a crap show. It breaks my heart. Upcoming multi-platform game. Game? Oh, will let you me, think? Let me search members. Let's see. Is that like yeah, I don't even gaming know who members. that guy is that was reacting to me yesterday. Just unkind, constantly positive. Here is Reforge Gaming talking mouth, about me on members. So, oh. Oh, man. I can't find it. I'm going to have to look it up. If he's begging like him, I love a good beg. Nah, I was one where he was just like, yo, I'm not even like, if you're not a member, I, like, I, I don't want to deal with the public. I don't want to deal with non-members. Like... It's just the entitlements off the charge with these oh things, man. Oh my god! Right, let's Jeez. go back. Though. Let's go back. Running a business after fifteen I'll years. Yeah. That's why with only five. Well, actually, there's a lot of viewers. Five hundred eighty viewers on my stream. I can still operate a successful business. This is why. Because I'm not like them. I don't get it. Phil has so few viewers. How does he make a living? I make a good living because people like me and my content. Despite so all the nonsense people living. say about me, they're all so. Can you pause wrong. right here? They don't get it because yeah. all they care about is what. They so Phil, again, you make a good living. Why is it that you're always in financial straits? We know. I, I want. I want to answer. Not not. But like, he has to give it to us. Why is it that you're in financial straits if you make a good living? Why is it that you have to continuously have? Uh, days where you're worrying about bills not getting paid, things not being paid for, if you make a good living. I know if I made a good living, I wouldn't be asking. I know if I made a good living, uh, if there's been days where nothing came in, it'd be fine, man, because I make a good living. That energy, uh -huh. you should, these are the words you should have never mentioned at all. And when he was talking, then he started bragging about making more money than LTG and all that. Like, these, these are other things you shouldn't. You got to keep that persona up that you are broke, bro. If you're going to keep acting like, oh, I make a good living. All right, then. Stop complaining when we call that you a hip. They have been conditioned to think is the right way to do things. It's not. There's more than one way to do things in life. My way works and actually works better than those who are constantly dependent Better. on waiting for the next viral sensation to hit. Because when there's okay, no so viral Okay, so why is it that you bitch about you not getting enough happened. money as those people? Because you have rants that you're not in the circle. You're not getting the golden. You're not getting the views. You're not getting the money. So why is it that you're better than them, but you're complaining that you don't have what they have? Mm, get them. Talk to them. Happens. We got nothing to do today. It's a boring day. So now we gotta talk about drama. Now we gotta cause problems. Now we gotta be assholes because we need content today. I don't need to do that but ever. That's what you do. Ever. I always you do have that all the fucking time. <laughs> You're always calling like you someone out. Yeah. You're always hating on somebody. You're always saying how you're better than somebody. That causes drama because that gets picked you up. Admit it that you that like gets to pushed. break people down. Yeah. All just because you aren't sitting there like reacting to someone the whole time and criticizing them, don't let's not act like you ain't causing no drama, bro. Because it gets pushed out. Look, you hated on this person, you hate on that person. All the YouTubers are trash, but me, which I don't even know how you can have that mentality, but whatever. But uh, that, that's all drama. Yes, you do this every podcast. You're telling me how you are better than other people every single day. To put out for the internet because I don't make shit. Get it? And there you have it. The nigga who went half a million in debt and had to file for chapter seven bankruptcy is telling us that he knows how to run a business. The guy who tells us that he has zero dollars to his name and is constantly going broke every stream, couldn't even finance his own damn taxes, is telling us that he is a successful streamer. Twisted. I guess the definition of success has lost its meaning over the years. So if we're to believe that Phil is this fucking business expert, then it's telling potential new viewers that they should go watch some other streamer for Baldur's Gate 3, a good move for future success? <laughs> Another thing is that he acts like he's this special case for being a variety streamer, when there are plenty of other streamers who do the exact same shit he's doing, but better. The only difference in his content compared to others is that the people watching don't have to deal with a homeless man big enough for cash every five minutes. Regardless, about a day later, 
DSP stood firm on his stance with Baldur's Gate 3. Even though his fans were giving him so much hype and engaging with the game just like how he always wants them to, he still didn't see a reason to play even more of the game. I'm very curious to see how Baldur's Gate 3 will do, alright? I'm not saying that this game is on the chopping block, it's not. Some people are like that, oh my god, so are you saying that today if you don't have the, the same performance you had on Monday, that you're going to drop the game? No, I never- I haven't watched it or checked in on him when he plays it. Has he been getting the same amount? Like, has it been dwindling? I haven't seen it. Oh, I don't know, don't care. I haven't yeah. checked, I don't watch those streams. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't seen it. I'm that telling that. you, I watched one of them and it was pitiful. All people are just dramatic and say dumb shit because they make stuff up to try to be dramatic when that's not the case, all right? What I want is I would like this game to fall into my schedule as a regular game that's enjoyable, fun, and has a regular audience. I'm nervous about that. Why? Because I played Divinity Original Sin 2, and it's a very similar situation to this where people had asked me to try Divinity for like a year, all right? And after listening to everyone's demands, because that's exactly what it was, everyone was demanding, play this game, play this game, play this game. All right, fine, we'll play the game. I played it, and at first, there was interest. And then after like a week, the interest waned, but I kept playing it. And then after like, a, a you know, two weeks, people started asking me, wow, this game really isn't, you know, your, your cup of tea, it's not very entertaining to watch you play. You know, are you going to keep going? Yes, I am. I kept going. I played that game for 60 hours. The entire final 20 hours of my playthrough, I actually was playing it against most people's recommendations. There were people actually asking me not to play it anymore because they were bored with it. But I said, no, I want to tough it out and keep going. And then when I hit 60 hours, people were like, so just so you know, you're halfway in. You still got another 60 so hours to go. And I was like, well... Uh, this is completely a lie. So what happened was he finally <laughs> played the game. He finally got around to playing the game, and he played it as insufferably as possible to the point where he was trying to punish people and to the point where he wasn't, he, he, like, he was asking people to handhold him. There was a dude named Tyrone who was in his oh. chat. Tyrone was literally telling this dude what to do verbatim. Phil outright ignored him and then banned him because he was like he was lying that he wasn't helping him. That he, bro, what? Like, wait, whoa, this, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. What happened now? Wait, tell, tell, wait, 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 wait. Ori Divinity Original Sin Two, right? Okay. He yeah. already came into the game like he came into playing the game like without liking it. Like he wasn't liking it. He wasn't paying attention. He wasn't paying attention to anything. And then there was a dude named Tyrone that was in the chat. And he was telling him what to do. Like, he was like, yo, you go here, you go here, you look for this. And then you saw Phil, like, not doing what he's telling him to do or doing it, like, wrong and shit like that. And then he just started, like, getting frustrated. And he, like, he, he, he wanted to rage quit the game. Like, he came into the game wanting to rage quit it. That's why he's not showing people. And then when people finally said, yo, drop the game, because it was literally being insufferable. Like, it wasn't a good playthrough. Like, it was insufferable to him to watch because he was bitching about everything. He wasn't taking, you know, the game into account, like, the details of the game into account. So people didn't want to watch him play because it was fucking insufferable. I did not remember that at all. I, I must have not I seen that back in the day, you know? I, I must have been... I must have been out the loop at that point. That's funny, oh, God, though. Is Tyrone is hilarious, though, to get out of... Get banned. <laughs> Everybody, everybody was telling him like, yo, like, yo, Tyrone's like, yo, dude, I told you, to, I think he was like looking for like a talking box or some shit. And like, he's in the chat telling him like, yo, like I was there doing A, B, and C, da, 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 da. No, no, you weren't. You were being mean. And then like, like you were being rude and you're a troll and he banned him. And Tyrone was even on Twitter and told him like, yo, my man's like, I was being nice to you and I was trying to help you. Like you were acting like you, you act like a bitch. Damn, Tyreezy got on, smoked. Bro. Come on. That's not, that's not, that's not. This is terrible. No one is paying any attention to the game anymore. I guess it's time to quit, and we did. This isn't true. His fans never demanded for him to play Divinity. It was a long requested game that won a poll and only got played mm -hmm. when Phil hit a member's goal. <laughs> Goodbye forever. This is another case of Phil rewriting history to fit his narrative. Just to give you some perspective mm -hmm. here, all right? Since Monday's stream. You know what? Justice for Tyrone. We're going to fight for that justice, especially on MLK Day. We're going to fight for Tyrone. Hopefully we can Tyrone get him on back. Like he said, fuck you. He Tyrone said, fuck got his get back on his wife. Of Baldur's Gate 3. There's been dozens of people who've left comments on the videos. Adding That's information fat, in about the game, the combat, the lore. I've had multiple people sending me DMs, emails, everything about this game. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I played three hours. <laughs> 
The intro. I'm in the intro, right? You're bombarding me with like decades of knowledge about D and D and stuff, and I, I get it. People are excited. I like that. That is that is the essence of engagement. Is that people are excited to see me for the first time ever jump into this universe? Okay, I like that. That people are that excited for it. But at the same time, man, that's like your it's information overload. And I hope people understand that. That. No, just because Loser. you sent me a bunch of stuff or you made a post and a comment on my video, I'm not going to absorb all of that immediately. It's going to be because a you slow as fuck, process nigga. of learning the game over the course of several. He will make this. He makes this out like it's like hacking, like the Da Vinci Code, bro. And now a game looks difficult yeah, he, for like he, beginners. He makes, shit, he makes this shit fucking. He makes this shit difficult. But I have a hard he time believing that they made this game like impossible for anybody to jump in and not be able to play it for the first time. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me, especially if it's so well made. And I feel like, like his, would here's the thing. Like, this is why I tell my son. They don't make games for you not to beat them. Quite the opposite, actually. Oh, they made it so hard that you can't jump into it? No, 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 no. Like, it's like, it's like, like, no, I say this with any game, with any video game. No, people don't I make was answering the chat. My bad. My bad. Right. Video, people don't make video games for you not to beat them. Like, they can <laughs> yeah, be as does. hard as fuck. There's no way that you'll have a game that's just not meant to be beaten. True. At all. You know what I'm saying? He, he's the one that makes it hard. Oh, it's super welcoming. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I can't see that you would just jump in with no knowledge and not be able to play it, bro. I can see that it's like, difficult and there's i saw a little of it and it looked like oh i don't know if i'll be able to do it but i guarantee if i played for a couple hours i'd be like all right i get the gist bro i jumped in with zero knowledge of how to play games once you understand the mechanics you'll realize this is a phenomenal game oh, okay okay yeah, that's how i felt okay. about elden ring elden ring like it was like a, you know it's it's a it's a souls game souls games are hard but they're not meant to not be beaten like you mm -hmm. know I, I play elden ring and i have fun and you know it, it's a good game for me once I understood how to play it, you're good. I haven't, haven't passed the tree sentinel, and I won't play the game until I beat that. So, <laughs> no, you, you trying to pull, you trying to pull, you trying to pull a Phil in the LTG? <laughs> uh, I I can't do it because Phil did it. So if I can't do it, that'd be me not being good enough, and Phil was. So I will not pass. Well, Phil had to read a guide. It. That's why Phil Phil had to read a guide, and he like basically had to face tank the dude that's it yeah that's that's how i feel i'm like you know what i see maybe that make me feel better one time i tried to run away from it and i'm like all right i'm just gonna play the game and i'm gonna see how it is and i ran away and the voice in my head back of my head was like you know phil beat this right nigga you know phil did this and i turned back around and got smoked <laughs> streams with you guys interacting and engaging with me during said streams while i also maintain everything else around here like I said, I'm not just playing Baldur's Gate 3. I'm also still playing Robocop. I'm still playing Like a Dragon Gaiden. I'm still playing fighting games. I'm still playing uh, Modern Warfare 3. I still have a React show to do. I still have holiday stuff that I'm working on and planning. I still got my life behind the scenes. My life is not Baldur's Gate 3 right now. So after doing his best to kill any form of hype for this game, and run off any new supporters who found him through these streams, the views and support were starting to fall off during the third stream of Baldur's Gate. All right, let's put the part. And we'll continue on the next part. We'll start uh -oh. keep heading this way out to more quests and combat and stuff, right? Oh, look, I think this is this is like this cool. is one of the parts in the game where he's like, "Yo, like, yo, you could do this spell," and he's like, "I don't know how to do it." And then like they're telling him what to do, and you see him like pull up the menus and like the sidebars or whatever, and he's just scrolling through them. He's not even trying to read them shits. Like, yo, you do this to your. A hundred percent, hundred percent. All right, excellent. All right, so guys, thank you. You've been a great audience so far today. I hope that you guys are are still enjoying the stream. As you can see, and this is our third stream. We've literally lost, since the first stream, we've lost 70% of the viewers. Since the last stream, we've lost 200 viewers. This is what I, I was curious would happen with this game. The hype's only for the launch, right? Or for the first few streams. Wow. I'm okay with this being a decent game and continuing on with the viewership we have right now. I am. Okay, I dark scale Phil. <laughs> totally am. Just so yeah, you know, like he just hit but some randomizer or some shit. This is kind of what I said would happen. I figured it would be. This was to be expected, as his streams were nothing but him getting his hand healed by the chat. 
you would think for someone who apparently loves RPGs as much as Phil claims, that he would have an understanding of how these games work by now. But I digress. Phil went on to talk about the declining viewership in his live playthrough. But the biggest highlight of the pre-stream for me is that he outright admits that he would hate playing this game if it wasn't for the chat holding his hand. <laughs> Here, So you guys are helping me tremendously. I just want to let you know again, I've said this before, the reason... I'm, I think this playthrough is enjoyable to me and you is because of the interaction. If I were playing this game for myself, it wouldn't be that good or I probably wouldn't like it. I'm not the kind of guy that wants to sit down and study to play a video game. I play a video game to kind of relax and immerse myself in a fantasy world, but one that's easy to jump into, right? I don't want to have to do hours of research or prerequisite knowledge of anything. I just want to play it. You guys are here and you're explaining these missing gaps to me and allow me to understand things. Giving me recommendations for new spells and stuff is tremendous. It helps a lot. That's a fact, so Ruthless. Called him out. He does. He sh he studies the tech. He needs to know the tech. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. That's shit a like fact. Like that. Oak shit Bok, like that. thank you for the two, Pimp. You got to admit, Cat got a book. All right, bro. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Chill. She get she getting picked up by Tyrone, bro. Chill. Chill. She lives. She lives. She. They, there are urban people in that environment, and you know she looking like you know she out here looking like a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. So she, somebody picking that up. Somebody. Cat got that niggas ain't shit haircut and the eye makeup to go with it. <laughs> I want to say thank you for that. I think that's why. Cat looks like a, a, a brother could scoop her up real quick, man. Yeah. I'm having the fun that I'm having. I need Shinko to do that. Take one for the team. What? You should, bro. So far with the game. If y'all lucky here offline playing. Man, y'all lucky. Y'all lucky. I got Mrs. Floor, bro. I think she would yeah, understand. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, y'all lucky. Y'all lucky. I got Mrs. Floor. Yeah, so lucky. This shit. Was, <laughs> this shit would have been it. wrapped up. This shit would have been wrapped up years ago. <laughs> you were going years right ago. to. You were going right to Washington. Scoop up cat. Right there, be like, yo, meet me over here. We'll go out. Where you want to go? <laughs> Catch her at work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I probably would. I send that straight or... DM. Like, we can go to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Give Cat the pasta. Oh no, no, no. We, we, we can go to Japan. There you go. Bills dominate mm -hmm. tomorrow. Snow or shine. Hopefully they lose. If there was no stream. <laughs> If it was just me doing on demand, hate the bills, bro. Videos of it, I probably wouldn't like this game. I was about to go to the buff, yo. They was, okay. they was trying, like, now, they was giving away twenty dollars an hour to shovel snow. I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, I know they are too. I can't, I cannot wait till they lose, bro. I'm so sick and tired of hearing about them, bro. I can't wait. I thought they weren't gonna make it, and then and then that happened. I'm like, oh, oh here we go, here we go, because this is a bunch of screaming and hoorahing, bro. <laughs> Truth is, all right. Stream three, pretty much exactly as I was expecting is happening. Let me give you some perspective here. And My money is doing the not the end of the world, nor is it a harsh criticism of the game at all. Stream one, we had over a thousand viewers the entire stream. Right? Anchor bar. Oh. High engagement, high support, crazy support. But that was kind of to be expected. Stream two, which was a few days ago, we had around 600 to 700 viewers for the whole stream. Great engagement, good support. Yesterday. We're down to 400 viewers on this stream now, but mm. still great engagement and still good support. Okay? I'm the kind of guy, I don't care about viewership. I want to reiterate this. Just okay? care about the chicken. I don't care chicken. about views on the stream. I don't care about views on the on-demand videos. All I care about is if I'm having a good time, you're having a good time. Because of that, we're having the good engagement. And yes, because of that, support comes with it so that I can maintain a business. That's what I care about. Okay? So... Even if this went down to 100 viewers per stream, I still wouldn't care as long as we still have the level of engagement and some support like we've been getting. I'm happy, all right? And I want to make that abundantly, abundantly clear. But within three streams, nine hours, we're already... Damn, bro. So you don't even care that a lot of people would want to come see a stream. You don't care if there's even 50 to 100 people as long as they're paying. That's good. Wow. That's, that's a weird thing to admit. That's a weird thing to admit. I would rather have a bunch of people and no money because that's like, oh, a lot of people want to rock with the channel. A lot of people want to uh, watch when I see what I have to say. I would rather that. But and I guess, you know, people are different. I mean, I my thing is, like I said, the expectation of money is just is just wild to me, bro. Facts. It's it's filthy. It's Seeing this trend with this game. <laughs> yeah, so why bring it up? Yeah, right. I, I don't know. And so 
<laughs> so your viewers With don't Baldur's matter, Gate right? 3, <laughs> Slippery slope. What man. happens is this now is the game on which a lot is hinging. This is the game that's supposed to be the staple playthrough. And quite frankly, that's the feedback I've received from you is that you want Baldur's Gate 3 to be my most played game right now. People who love this game are saying we want at least three streams a week. If you can do more than that, great. But three streams a week, please. We want that much of it. We want that progress. If you don't immerse yourself in the world that much, basically it's not worth it. And we're not going to get out of it what we want. I've already got two different people who over the first few days of me playing the game said, we like the playthrough, but we're not patient. We don't want to wait. That's Thanks what they for said. The playthrough. And they even tipped. But then they said, goodbye, we're not going to stick around. I get that. Okay, bye, I, nigga. That's the kind of streamer I am. I'm a variety guy. That's why I succeed. That's why I have over 600 members, despite the fact I don't usually have 600 viewers on a stream. This is that doesn't make any sense. I have a at successful all. business because I. Bro, I've been. I've gotten a, a. Someone has gifted a membership on a stream. I've never even. I wasn't even on, bro. It's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. If someone gifts it, you just get it, bro. I, I, I wasn't even on the stream and I got a gifted membership for. Uh, what was it? Be our guest channel. Some weirdo that I follow that I don't even doesn't matter. But I I I I, I watch it because he's full of drama and I, I like watching drama because I'm toxic. But doesn't matter. I wasn't even there and I got I looked at my phone I'm like, oh I got gifted. That's what's up. Spread myself out so that way I get different viewerships for different games, right? So thank you. Please show up, please engage. That's how this is gonna work. Okay. So I hope it continues. I'm playing it again on Monday. I'm playing it again on Wednesday, okay? I hope people will continue to show up, engage, and support with these streams. And if they do, I have no problem keeping this in the rotation as the most played game. I will play it more than any other game in the rotation as long as it maintains that. However, I am worried about that it's going to be become another Divinity 2 where after, you know, a, a, you know, four, five, six streams, all of a sudden, pfft, no one's showing up and everyone, you know, already. And again, I don't care about the views. But all you got to do is look at the views of the videos on YouTube. <laughs> I don't care about the views, but I'm going to still talk about the views. Got it. Patch, all right. Within 24 hours, had over 1,000 views. And up to now, they have 5,000 plus views. Like, really good viewership. The second batch did okay. Had around 1,000 views. This next batch barely has hit 300 views per video in 24 hours. Uh, I'm sorry. I had to walk away. But homie said, okay, bye, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 24 hours. So already, the interest is gone. You saw the intro. Okay, that's it. Well, it's a 100-hour game. It's not a six-hour intro game. It's a 100-hour game. It's an insane commitment. I hope people are going to commit to stick around and help me out with this playthrough because I want to play this game, okay? It's an outright admission that Phil does not enjoy gaming. He doesn't want to take oh. the time to learn the game and its mechanics. He just want to brute force his way through what I have. Avigo, you want the pass. What, to say the, the N-word? On MLK Day? You you better say it before midnight, pimp. You ain't gonna disrespect the ball. You ain't gonna disrespect the dad. I don't use any form of critical thinking. He's always looking for the easiest route to victory. And without the chat there to guide him, then there's no point for him to play anything that isn't completely- He's, Why is he wearing a scarf? Indoors. I'm Brain dead about. like Game of the Year 2020 bug snags. Phil is still currently playing through Baldur's Gate 3 in the month of January. But it's only a matter of time before the game suffers the same fate as Divinity. So diving into something a bit more fun. On December 15th, undefeated boxing champion Wings of Redemption reacted <laughs> to title. Then in critique Phil's skills in Call of Duty. Like, to be honest, Phil's movement isn't that bad. Like oh, he just wings. everything he does is reckless abandon. What the No idea where they are. Like he moves, I've got the stealth he moves build, well enough. Yet they're easily seeing me and murdering me, which is. Yo, weird. watching Wings restream Phil no, is wild. Like, oh, Never mind. There were two of them. There were two of them camping together, two bosom buddies connected at the hip. They can't fight alone. They don't have enough confidence. They have to team up like that. Those are bad players, oh Phil. My God. Mm. <laughs> Like, Phil didn't even look to the left where the guy got him beforehand. I know he wasn't there then, but it's like, you got to check the corner, Phil. Like, you're not Damn. learning from your mistakes. Like, I know that they're on cliffside, cliffside stairs right now, just from where my teammates are standing. Phil does not. He's about to run into the enemy right now. <laughs> Yo, uh, wait a minute. Wingo knows some... What? He knew... I didn't even know that. Dude, I can't fight two at once with, two, with the handguns, you know? So as soon as I, there's two MV1, I'm done. I don't have a chance. 
Alright, so they're, they're still there. There could be a trickler in caravan, but I doubt it. Nope. He's, he got he got killed by the same person. I said, make sure you check the quarter fill. Learn from your mistakes. He made the same fucking mistake in the same game. <laughs> Seven came out of nowhere, bro. As soon as he <laughs> wings shows up. <laughs> Shout out to him. And what's even more funny was that Wings basically called Phil out for a 1v1 on the Law Cal podcast. And Keemstar even suggested bringing the idea to Phil himself. Is this still going on? I haven't seen an episode pop up in my recommend or subscription in a minute. But from the history that these two have together, I think it's safe to say that there's no way this is happening. Um, you know, do, do you have questions for Blade? Or excuse me, Wings? Um, for one, I just want, I wanted to kind of hype Wings up a little bit because I saw that, that post you put out about him and DSP possibly playing a game of Modern Warfare 3 together. Like, I, I have a feeling that you'd be down, but obviously Phil, you know, Phil, it, it's, it's going to be tough to get him on anything. But man, if that shit happens, you got to you gotta put the, the hurt on DSP. You got you got to hurt his gaming ego, Jordy. Like you got to if this sh Nah, uh, see me and Shink went six and a half hours one time, bro. <laughs> this ain't the longest one. Happens. Pause. I I'm gonna get you psyched up. I'm gonna be like Jordy. I don't need to be psyched up to be Phil. Like, look here, Mike. My mother could die, and I could have pneumonia in the hospital, and I could still roll out of bed and go beat Phil. And call <laughs> yeah, him. I know. I That's paused it quick. That's too. the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Going six and a half hours with Shinko's disgusting. I know. I paused. <laughs> let him know. Let the him know. Only issue, the only issue here is Phil's going to f*** me out of this money, too, because Phil's going to say no because he doesn't have complete control. Do we have a date a for this? Bit. I do. Um, Sometime in February, uh, I have locked down an eSports arena. It's going to be okay. a LAN. This 1v1 is not going to be like, you know, over on Justin TV slash Switch, Woody's Gamer Tags. No, 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 no. We're Switch. not doing that. I don't want to hear about who's got host, who doesn't have host. No, 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 no. This is going to be a LAN at an eSports center with professional commentators doing play-by-play. -play. Put You're going to go to it, Shank? You're going to fly out to Vegas and check out the 1v1? That won't happen? Uh-oh. I think he's gone. Potentially, depending potentially live audience for members or something. Is there going to be like an undercard? Uh, we, we should, we should build a good, a good event around it, but I want it to be promoted. Like our, well, like, you know how you and Boogie had this boxing match. Like we had months to promote it and build it up and hype it up. I want this to, to, to break the internet to everybody <laughs> in this chat right now. That's watching us. If you know, wings of redemption, you want this moment of this guy from 2009, 2010. You want this moment for wings to have his actual redemption in a one V one. And it can't be just on some stream. It's gotta be Yo, yes. a big Chill. event. Like, and, and, and I have everything. Yes. <laughs> Good dog, see y'all. <laughs> it's crazy. Nah, bro. I don't know. Lockdown. So I don't think DSP is going to say yes, but we got to present this to DSP. Now, he already said that he had no part of it and all that. I knew he'd say no off the bat, but we got to flirt with what? him for like. My, a my question is why? Like, wh why does this guy have <laughs> such control issues? Like, it's February, Phil. Two months later, taxes are due. You know, you need motherfucking tax money. Instead of having like a like a low self-esteem stream where like you beg people to pay your taxes for like the tenth year in a row, don't face me in a one v one. Hey, I'll even open up this. I even throw this out here, Phil. If you do it, Phil, we can just split the money. Oh, wait, syndicate wait, style. Wait, wait, didn't you try that before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but syndicate. yeah, we did try that before. But I'm just saying, like, like win or lose, you get paid. You can take your wife on a on a honeymoon to Las Vegas and get five grand. <laughs> He's still like, how do you that. say no to that? How do you say no to that? Now we have an interesting event that took place on December 23rd. As one of Phil's loyal pay pigs, Canadian Kirk, was banned by YouTube for being openly racist in Phil's chat. This oh. is something that Canadian Kirk has done in the past. Wing said the company reached out and is going to sue me and strike the trolls down. God, he's back at it again? And has received warnings from Phil about saying those kinds of things in his chat. But as we saw with people like Sidella or Vardar Viking, DSP would defend these people and lash out at the ones who are calling out their behavior. Boy, you guys don't listen. Did I not say it to my channel and I take care of it? Did yeah, I yep. not the other uh, day? Shank, what's popping, my shit, is, my shit, My shit is 
Bro, I, I was about to start screaming. My shit just went off, bro. <laughs> yo, I was like, I was like, yo, man, uh, uh, are you gonna go to the fight with, the, or you gonna go see the one v one with Wings and DSP? And it was just nothing. That's never no. gonna happen, bro. Like that's see, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, this is why I can't fuck with like people who don't like. This is the reason why like normies kind of get like, they kind of get like the third degree when they come into the, the vortex because they don't understand that DSP is a weirdo mm -hmm. like they're not like you, like i'm hearing keem like what i was about to say keem's like you know we gotta address phil you know we gotta flirt with like phil doesn't want to do anything no he's never doing this he's never going he's to never las vegas this. and then the to thing one is like yo he don't you. get it yo <laughs> i've literally tagged this dude and sent this dude like a fucking like the fucking screenshot where phil's literally saying Yo, I love the fact that Ke that Craig and Keem are squirming, that they have my name in their mouths, and you know it must be eating them up inside. Like he, he's not gonna play ball with you. Nah, not he's at all. He's saying it straight to your face. Like there's certain, like his brain is wired different. Like it's not gonna work that way. Mm -mm. And if you think that he's ever gonna go all the way to Las Vegas to play you in a one v one in a game he don't even, he's not even good at, and barely plays, you're nuts, bro. You, you, you've lost the plot. They have words with someone publicly on this stream when I said that they went over the, the bounds and they should never do that ever again. Did I not literally do that? So could you shut the fuck up now? Thank you. Happy holidays. Shut up. It's my channel, I'll take care of that stuff. If you see it and I'm ignoring it or missing it, let me know. I, I appreciate the notifications. But for people to sit here gossiping in the chat about this stuff is not going to fly. And if I see it, you're going to get timed out too. But that's Gossiping, your man's though. See, like, and that's like the other reason why he gets into these situations. Like, bro, take care of that shit. Take care of that shit. You're showing people that you don't know how to you don't know how to do good housekeeping. Why the fuck should people invest in you? At all. And 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 okay. Uh Redemption Gaming, as soon as I found out about that, he would have been smoked. He was gone. Derek would have been kicked out a long time ago. Um Done. Uh, uh, Captain Canadian Kirk, whatever his name is, he would have got clipped a long time ago. Um, uh, Jade, I would have kicked just because he's in a wheelchair. I don't want that no, around no, me. Ah, well, what? actually, for, for Jade shouldn't be in that environment. <laughs> I'm um, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding about love, the wheelchair. But I would have still we kicked love. Jade. I would have, I would have kicked Jay. It time go. Yeah, you gotta get out of here. Especially if you're speaking all crazy like that. Nah, I don't want that energy around me. I'm good. Uh, Tyler, Jade out here, Jade out here praying, yo. He's like Doofy from Scary Movie, bro. He pulling all the strings. You forgot Tyler. this motherfucker goes to the casino. He be gambling. Tyler would have, Tyler would have got kicked instantly. Had one conversation with him. Kick him right to the curb. We're good on that. Um, there's a lot. I mean, we'll probably get down to like. Uh, maybe like 10, 15 people that are all right, I guess, that I wouldn't know. It's the only agency uh, he has in his small life. It's fucking Jack. Right, right. Yeah, that's it. He don't got nothing else. He don't oh, say, yeah, like I said, YouTube, YouTube is his only thing. That's the only thing he has in Bro, this Bro, he world. said that's his interaction with real people. That's how I knew he was dented for real. That was his only, that's where I interact with people. Online. So you don't talk to no real people. Oh, Lord. Lord, eh? Especially during the holiday season is not appreciated. I'm not saying you can't. And I'm not one of these people that say that, you, oh, you can't have a real relationship online. That's not true. You can have, like, friendships on, with people online. You talk to them every day. You don't have to physically see them. But you should have interactions with real people outside and not just be like, oh, this is where I interact. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Nor acceptable here. Okay. I might have missed it. You guys got to tell me. You guys got to tell me what's going on so I can find it. You got to understand a lot of streams, it's just me on here. And if I'm playing a game and stuff, I'll miss it. And I think that the appropriate parties know what I'm talking about. I had a word with them the other night about it, and they better have learned their lesson because I'm not going to have that kind of stuff on my streams. And I think they know that. All right. Bro's been well, racist this didn't for play months. Out so well for <laughs> Canadian Kirk, as YouTube unleashed a ban hammer on his account. And once he brought it to Phil's attention, this nigga actually told him to break YouTube's TOS just so he can keep giving him money, which I should point out is also breaking YouTube's TOS. All right, let's continue. Uh, I received a $2 tip from Canadian Kirk. Can I get unbanned? I did nothing wrong. I don't, Canadian Kirk, I don't know why you were banned. Again, I, I, I didn't do it. And if you are banned, you just need to send me 
the address of your channel so I can unban you. So if you can do that, I'll, I'll have to check my emails and see if you emailed me and, and, you know, sent me the link. Unless you already have. I'll check quick. Let's see here. Uh... And by the way, all this is cap, okay? You don't need to do this whole email thing. All you have to do is click the studio, right? And you, and you go down to settings. Then you go to community. And everybody that you banned, your hidden users, are right on a list. All you do is click the X right next to it. And voila, he's back, bro. Voila! You feel, all that, you have to email me. And then you have to... Uh, wait a minute. Why is this video? It doesn't matter. Uh, the email, all you have to email me. Send me your channel link. You don't have to do any of that, bro. I just did it in two seconds, bro. It's cat. Ah, yes, he did. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when you got banned, dude. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, send a fax. Send a carrier but, pigeon. But let's be clear here. All right? I'm going to be very, very clear about this. Oh, you're not banned. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm logged into my other channel. I'm, I'm logged into my React channel. Let me log it. Let me switch over. Wow. You're not banned. Do you With know what that H. means? YouTube might have shadow banned you, dude. And what that means is that YouTube you read your so chat extremely history and racist. outright banned your account, and I can't unban that. There's literally nothing I can do about that. Yeah, that's happened before. I've heard that people were like, Phil, I'm not showing up in your chat. I don't understand. And they would send me their link. I was like, nah, dude, you're not banned. You're literally not banned in my chat. There's nothing I can do about it. And then apparently they looked into it and found out, I guess they got a notification from YouTube at some point. That their account just got banned outright for for some kind of behavior so dude and i and by the way for the record i warned canadian kirk about this being extremely racist isn't good <laughs> with his behavior and i already admonished him for some of the things that he was saying um and i think what happened was he might have said things that were considered too risque by youtube and they might have been he might have been reported and blo and blocked by youtube outright and i can't fix that my recommendation would be, <clears throat> I mean this, if you come back, don't tell anyone it's you. Because, Damn. you know, people, <laughs> if someone already has an out for you because of stuff you said in the past, they're going to keep doing it. So I would come back with a new account and not say it's you and just be a chatter. You know what I mean? Every once in a while, if you want to if you want to contribute and say, hey, I'm still Canadian Kirk, you could do that so I would know it's still you. But that's up to you. You know, I can't, sadly, I can't fix all these what? world's problems. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> tell him to ban evade and if you want to keep don't tell anybody but you could tell me though when you donate though don't just tell me regular <laughs> you better put some payment behind that people put some chicken behind that telling all right i don't want no chicken list you just telling me nothing no 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 if there ain't no bacon <laughs> yeah right 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 okay this really goes to show the links field will go to make sure he can get those wwe champion pools Oh, buddy, out of brain TOS. Speaking about WWE champions, it was reported from TJ Gamebox's Twitter that Phil had finally reached the top of the leaderboards just a day before Christmas. It was estimated that he spent close to two grand in order to achieve this goal, Ooh. and as usual, it was right back to the big end once the funds were completely drained. Now we have another interesting story. And by the way, he was number one for maybe a couple hours and dropped right back to seven. So all that chicken to get the number one. Pump plummeted. Story. As on December 23rd, Boogie2988 was banned on Twitch for showing Butters, what's popping? Went off just a little bit more than just a gun. You gotta, uh, you gotta raise the bar woo! up. Oh, I, I, I think I can move this. Oh my god, bro. Shanko, man. Shanko. You know man. how I feel about this motherfucker. <laughs> Dog. This yeah. black bar. Uh, Hold on, let's see. Here looking like let's see. Can you still? Can you... Oh my God! And bro, Get he didn't even too. have the bar, and it all was blocked. Oh my God! How you can't see your dick, bro? I'm sorry. Mm -mm. You actually see? Oh, there you go. Oh, Whoa, man. you can't see nothing. Yes, he's the order on the Peter Griffin. Oh my Peter God! I'm seeing his balls. Oh. You illusion channel. <laughs> <laughs> shit like that shit like that shit like that shit like that shit yo like that, that bro. is disgusting bro melon's built like a goron so being the drama free streamer that he is 
Beautiful. He said, no <laughs> dick having ass. Oh, bro. Oh, it's there somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. I thought it would be pretty hilarious to bring this up on stream. In the course, compared to his incident all the way back. I still haven't forgiven you, Sly. Reaper! In 2016. You guys Come. want me to read it? Because I didn't even know about this. And now I'm incredibly disturbed. And I think I want to vomit or cry or both. I'm just going to read. Now, by the way, I want you to understand something. I can, I, I'm not about drama. I'm not. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny what I'm about to read. I know nothing about it. I don't want to know anything about it past what I'm about to read. I don't want to be bombarded with information about this. I don't want to talk about this. All right? Okay? Shall we? All right, here we go. Phil, I now understand why you keep your clothes on while streaming and don't take them off for a gimmick. As you probably heard, no, I did not hear. Boogie has been banned from Twitch. He showed his genitals on stream by accident. Maybe he was going with the trend and it failed miserably. Playing it safe is better after all. <sighs> but you know what? You know what? <laughs> I, I don't know. People are freaking out in the chat. I don't know. You know what? 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 You know what? What? <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't want to confirm it. I don't want to confirm Man, it. Don't I really about don't it. want like, to don't confirm it. Don't talk about it. it. Nobody <laughs> I cares. Part of it. I want nothing Wait, man, this is the reason why to do with it. What was that? I said, that's the reason why I don't watch this shit. Like, again, if you don't want to talk about it, don't talk about it. Don't beat around the... But, like, yo, this is the type of shit that, like... Yo, this is the type of shit my dad used to get arrested for. Because motherfuckers would do this in front of him, and he just couldn't take it. So he would just knock these niggas out. <laughs> Shit like, like that, I'm, I'm, shit like that, shit like that. Now I get it. Like, like sometimes that. back shit in the day, like, like I used to watch my dad, like I would see the same shit. Like I would see a dude, like, you know, I'd be far away and I see a dude like talking, hands moving, you know, doing all these hand signals. And then my, yeah. my, I'll just watch my dad do a sigh and just mop. <laughs> like, you talking too much, bro. You're talking too much. With this at all, you understand? I want, you know what I mean? I want absolutely nothing to do with any of this. Uh, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> exactly right. 90s guy says likely he was all a stunt stage for his podcast. You're probably right. You have to understand when people are desperate for content, that's what they do. They pull stunts, right? So, like the oh, Comcast crap, tech? Man, my podcast, no one's really watching it now after the first few episodes. <laughs> we got to pull a stunt to get people talking about it again. Here, let's do this really crazy, stupid, over the top thing that's incredibly, you know, embarrassing so that, you know, We'll get attention for ourselves, right? Whatever. Throwing your wife on stream when she's taking up two thirds of it. I want nothing to do with it. Literally, I, you know what I mean. I have nothing to do with those people. You know, I'm done with. I'm just. I oh I know. I missed out on it, man. I missed out. I could have been a part of all that fun over there, huh? Man, I really missed the boat on this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Bro, you missed out on fifty racks to sit there and talk to losers. Nothing. No. I would have taken taken that fifty racks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you 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 are dumb. Yes, no, you're hundred percent dumb. Fifty k to sit there and talk for a little uh, once a week. Oh my god. Anyway, whatever. You know, if anything, I mean, that, I definitely would say you missed out a hundred percent. That's unfortunate. That sounds way worse than what happened to me. Maybe people can now move on from me. Bro, he did that shit on purpose. Because yeah, it was the like trend. They, see, that, that's the thing. I would rather, like, see, I think, like, just showing off your body on purpose is way less worse um, than pretending to masturbate on stream when you were trying to peddle content to children. Wait, you think you you think it's fake? What? The fact that he, that he beat his meat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I already proved, I already, I already uh... explained why. I didn't know this. I don't think it's fake, bro. Nah, I think it's B. fake because you can shot visibly see, job, bro, B. while he's stroking, you can visibly see him checking the light, like checking, like looking, like he's looking at the screen, bro. And like I said, there's no fucking way you're going to tell me you're going to set everything up, set everything up, and then like beat your meat, then look several times and not notice that the shit is not on. And then after you finish nothing, then all of a sudden, when the same exact place you were looking at, you look and then you realize the, sh the camera was on. And then you're sitting there like, oh, the camera's on. Oh, hello. 
uh, uh, there's no, there was no fucking shock. Oh, there was no like fucking initial shock. I don't like, know, man. Purpose, I think he did that on accident, dog. I think he nah, he did that shit on purpose, bro. Because like, he I'm sorry, also like, didn't that... admit it at first. Like he just cat. Like, he was saying nah, he was like I'm, I'm scratching. Yo, I'm and... telling you right now. After the Discord <laughs> leaks, after the Discord leaks, bro. After when I got those Discord leaks, I I maintain everything that man does on stream is intentional and it's for some type of effect. There is some point, Phil understood. Phil has a concept of exploit, right? At some point, he understood that doing this outrageous shit gets views. Doing this outrageous shit keeps his, keeps his name in people's mouths. He was seasoning that. He said the Jewish tunnels got you shook. <laughs> you know the I'm Jewish saying? tunnels. <laughs> that man you agree? That, that oh, man, there's man people. You, oh my God, I didn't know. I, I just was, I, I, I believe it happened. Because there's like, there he was so embarrassed, bro. Like you could tell by his face and how embarrassed. And I, we've seen Project 7. That boy can't act for nothing. That but man that's what was I'm saying. Like, so no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, dude, if you watch it, if you watch him, bro, supposedly this dude, he's beating his meat so hard. He got, yo, this shit is, it's so overwhelming. He's throwing his head back. Like, he's throwing his head back. Like, he's catching that ultra nut. But still, in the middle of that, like, hitting that nut, he still has the time to actively look at a different screen. I've seen him see look, him. but I'm thinking he's looking at the prawn, bro. I don't think he's looking at the, like, the chat. I... To me, because of after the cringy, hello, like that was just too, like, you could tell, oh my God, he's so embarrassed. His hair is all disheveled. He just looks wild. I don't know. I don't think he, nah, bro. There's no I way. didn't know that was a conspiracy. I thought it was just always like, it was, it, it was just the dude being a cringe. Like, I didn't know there was people that didn't, I didn't know that you thought it was fake or other people did. That Not I'm learning like, something like over the top freaking out on one of his streams and he ripped his he accidentally ripped his shorts off and his dong flopped on stream and he got banned <laughs> didn't that happen i heard that too so now we have multiple people he called it a dong <laughs> that this has happened to so why are we still talking about me i didn't show anything all right these guys are the ones they're showing they're going the full monty here right so i don't know how i'm even in the discussion anymore I'm old news. I'm no one, you know, you're talking seven, eight years ago, and I was the old one, and they didn't learn from my mistakes, I guess. But I guarantee you, if any top streamer or well-known content creator were to bring up anything about Phil's past that doesn't put him in a positive light, we wouldn't hear the end about it. This is yet another case of Phil enjoying the downfall of someone else, in spite of mm -hmm. being this super chill guy that solely focuses on nothing but true and meaningful gameplay. Yeah, right. To close out this month of December, we got a complete meltdown from Phil on his last Street Fighter 6 stream of the month. An absolute goaded restream of Piece of Piece, the Piece of Piece, led an army of Kimmy's <laughs> against Phil and caused him to go on a complete rampage. He ran into so many Kimmy's that he legit thought it was just one guy that was stream sniping him. No matter what. There we go. No matter what. Oh! Everybody ready? Here it is. Master level Kimmy, PC player. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. You got coke. <laughs> oh shit, and piece of piece had the fucking inputs on. That's crazy. But there's no excuse. Streaming and creaming. Gross. Yeah. Wow! I did it! I broke throw! Can't break throw! It's the same pattern. I still can't- you still can't beat it. There's nothing you can do. There's literally nothing you can do. There's literally nothing you can do. That's the volume's okay, it's sorry. trash gameplay by trash players. Damn. Fucking awful play. I fucked that up, by the way. I accidentally fat fingered the eye there. Get him, peace. Here we go. Here Boom. it comes. Can't break throw. I know it's coming. Fuck. He's doing it. He's doing it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. 
What could I have done? Again, I, it's oh, so oh, laggy. I'm oh, stuck in down back. And and I down. Like a dick bitch. release down back and do a move out of it. It won't come out. She gets to do everything okay. she wants because she's playing on PC oh. and uses the netcode <laughs> by doing the same overpowered patterns over and over. I cannot do anything to it. There's nothing I can do to react to that. I can't break the throw because I'm on PS5. Because I'm on PS5. Gonna push the hood. Oof. Nothing I can do. I can't break the throw. I tried again. Yo, he is smoking, I tried four dude. times, three times in a row now. Five times in a row now. Finally, on the sixth attempt, it broke the throw. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Of course, mash. <laughs> Literally walk forward, throw 17 times, and then mash. You fucking lame brain idiot. You mouth jeweler. What a mouth doing idiot. Look at this character. Oh, throw again. Uh oh, uh -oh. This song. You can taste the song. Here I go. Hey, mommy, come in the room. Watch me play Street Fighter the Six. Here head. I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You fucking All right. Perfect. You pathetic excuse for a fucking fighting game player. You can go get fucked. <laughs> he You're fucking terrible. left. Same Shit, exact man. gameplay from every fucking Perfect. Cammy. Literally. Not a David, single piece of originality from any of them. <laughs> they like, do exactly on, the same moves over and over. The same pattern. Yo. And you can't break it because you're playing online against a PC player on PS5. You have zero chance. You literally have zero chance to do anything. Your man cooked him. And he's blocked. And he's banned. <laughs> Bannon I hope after his whole the family cook. was in the room to pat him on the back when he got the win, too. Here you go, son. <laughs> I hope you tie your shoelaces later. Ooh, got him good with that one. Hope you tie your shoelaces later. <laughs> got him. Uh, I can't break yes. throws. You can't. You can't do anything. She will get walk forward, mash, jab, or throw. So fuck your mother. You suck. No, really. Damn. You suck. Whoever you are, you're terrible. You literally walk forward, but hit, hit, throw. Hit, hit, throw. Can't do it. I'm on PS5. On PS5, it doesn't react fast enough. You're on a fucking tweaked PC, and you think you're good because tweaked. you're playing online like this. You suck ass. You're not a good player. You literally do the same pattern over and over. I can't stop it. I'm picking a low tier character on PS5 with more. It doesn't delay. work like that. It doesn't work like that. Early. Yeah, I, I never could comment on this because I don't know too much about the game. But the thing tell is me, tell low me. tier, high tier. There's there's characters that are broken, but at the end of the day, like yo, it's not meant for you. Like they're not every can't every every character. There's not a character that's invincible. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They are broken characters. They are characters with you know certain metas in the game. But you, you, again, Phil, you're a professional fighting game player. That shouldn't be that shouldn't be an excuse that some people do something against you and you can't defend it. That's a problem. Because I bet you if we find matchups with these same characters with two different people playing it, we won't see that. Or yeah, uh, you know yeah. I'm saying? Like I've 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 like I'm a scrub. I'm a scrub and in, in, so like in Street Fighter Six, one of the broken characters is Blanca, because he just like he, he could just spam the shit out of his shit. I've beaten Blancas and I'm trash at the game. So it's a skill issue, bro. Mm. He needs yeah, to understand I, it. Yeah. My, yeah, right. It, that's what I was just about to say, Ruthless. Uh, so why are you crying? Uh, pick another character and, and go ahead. Like that's not their fault that you play. If the if what he's saying was true about the low tier, high tier, or whatever, then pick a different character. If you but can't do it, he uses this with every character. <laughs> he does this with every character. He's running out. He's running out of excuses. He's running out yeah. of characters. And you fucking play like that online. You're fucking terrible. You should never play the game again. You should move on with your fucking life. You're a fucking idiot. They all do exactly the same gambling shit, and the game always rewards them, <laughs> right? Nice. Imagine if you had a die, and every time you rolled it, you won 90% of the time. That's Cammy. 
That's, I will just throw anything out there that I want, and 90% of the time, it will hit, or if it doesn't cammy. hit, I recover instantly, My and I can just roll the die cammy. again, free rerolls. That's Cammy in a nutshell. There's nothing to it. Look, why do you think there's so many of them? Why the fuck do you, you think off. there are so fucking many of them? Because it pisses Seriously, you off. That's why there's so many. Hulk Hogan fan. Cammy. Because <laughs> she's the easiest character right now. Time for another one to two matches before we wrap it up tonight. Here comes a new challenger. Like I said, time for another one to two matches before we wrap it up tonight. No, not 100 camis. I'm tired. Every Why is it wow. that since I played with Dalsim, and now that I want to get back into Lily, 90% of my matches are against Cami, which are horrible matchups against them, right? Like, definitely some of these nights are, are excuse me, what you would consider slow nights. It's not a big deal. I had a great day earlier today, so I'm not complaining, but I've seen a distinct fall off of interest. Uh, you know, in this. <laughs> <laughs> I drink so as gin. you can see, this oh. is probably the same person changing their name over and over and then just trying to find... Yeah, and, he, and I love the Cobe, too. There, there's not that many people that don't like me. It's the same person. It's the same person doing it. Me in uh, casual matches. because you know it's, it's one <laughs> thing <laughs> if you get a name that's a reference. It's two things if you get two names that are a reference. When you get three, that's a pattern. This is just the same idiot going over and over trying to find me obviously so i'm just every time i see that yeah now, within gonna... seconds he's finding you he's changing his name and finding you within seconds out of millions of people playing that's it's, it's not two people it's it's out of those matches i'm not gonna waste my time i'm just not gonna entertain stupidity that's the third in a fucking row cammy with a name that's meant to be some kind of a stupid meme reference so i'm just gonna say fuck you not waste my time with this dumb waste of life and there we have it. Jesus That's most of Chris antics wrapped up for the month of December. Now feedback is very important. So Shout out X Mortis. Man.